Alright, so let's get back into this. Create a colony. I didn't even get to start on mine colonies, holy shit. Difficulty, hard. More world options. Terraforged. Blank seed. Create new world. <coughs> so, pardon me, my uh, my cough is coming back. I'm just going to drink a little bit of well, my Singapore Armed Forces that in bottle. Which, week I have managed to damage so hard that the cap has fallen off. Lucky me. Okay, so we're prepping for the world creation. First things first is, uh, I guess, try and get back to where we were before, which is having a bunch of stuff. Yeah, having a bunch of stuff. That's that's pretty much it. That is the sole requirement that I'll need, that, that, I, that I feel like I need. So I'm going to get back, get, have a bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah, we're going to get back and have a bunch of stuff. So first things first, I might try and rush a rotary create farm. So that requires me to get a bunch of windmill bearing, uh, a single wind bearing. It requires me to get at least five mechanical harvesters, and it requires me to get eight sail frames to get the windmill bearing to begin moving. And that will basically be the food farm taken care of. And if I feel really, really up to the challenge, a uh, portable storage interface feeding into a chute, feeding into a... I want to say storage drawer that has decent storage capacity. I'll just afford whatever upgrades I can. That should be a pretty good episode one trail of events. But here's the thing, to get to get that I'm going to need to do quite a few things. So first off, to get the uh, mechanical harvester, I'm going to need a metal press and to get that I'm going to need a little bit of andesite alloy. You guys know the drill. You guys have seen the drill if you've been keeping up with the stream. If you're keeping up with Season 1. Season 1 was a really long time ago, though. I could, I could not tell you how long ago Season 1 was. <laughs> if you, you know what? Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can still imagine Season 1. You know? It's just, it's just ages and ages ago. But yeah, let's 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 get back to this. Oh wow, three viewers. Hello viewer. Hello hello mysterious viewer who has not made your presence known to me. Welcome welcome to the stream. You are about to watch the start of a brand new world. So, joining world and let's let's let's, let's skip all the formalities and get going with the with create. So, one probe. I'm going to use this and I'm going to hit needed. No, I'm going to hit not needed. There we go. And yeah, so biome terraforged oak forest. It's great. It's love. It's lovely to be in a biome terraforged oak forest. So I'm going to add a waypoint, and I'm going to add spawn. This is a pretty cool, pretty cool place to be. And soon enough, the sun is going to set, and monsters are going to begin pouring out of the fucking ground. Uh, sort of gives me, sort of gives me a time limit. So I see a bunch of sheep on the map in that direction, and I can probably hunt them for food, for early game food. Or, alternatively, I could set up a camp. The camp's going to be a little bit easier, but it's going to be a little bit of a pain to move when I'm done. Either way, uh, not a not a huge concern. Can you stop fucking bumping into me? It's uh, it's not f it's not funny when you do it, you know. <laughs> getting angry at a Minecraft pig. That's what my life is. That's what my life is. Getting angry at things in video games. It's uh, it's just. just it's how I put it's just how I've spent all my skill points, you know? Getting angry at things. Wait, what? Why did that axe have such long reach? Weird. Also, sometimes when my mouse feels like it's fucking possessed by a ghost or something. Just random random bits of like input lag and stuff. And then like slow head turning, you know? It's just, it's just weird. Anyways. I am going to get enough stuff to make a supply camp. And then I'm going to get the stuff I need. Actually, you know what? This is a very big flat area. I could probably put down a supply camp here. And just do one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of these. Fold these up. And then I'll create a supply camp. So 
one way for me to see if a supply camp is a good a good is, is a good one or if this is a good place to put down a specific supply camp is to press f3g and then i can build a fortress styled supply camp now if if you don't know, the gimmick that fortress builds have is that every single one of them takes up exactly a chunk. Alternate, no, sorry. They take things up in space intervals of eight. So they can be eight blocks wide, or they can be 16 blocks wide, but every, no matter how many blocks wide are, they're either a full chunk or a chunk. And using this information, I can clear out one chunk, and I can place down a fortress build structure. Now, this will actually get us going quite quickly because they will get give us wooden tools. Now, we already have wooden tools, but they'll give us a few more to burn through. A couple of burner tools, if you will. Also, that tree is going to go pretty quickly because I still have fast leaf decay installed, I believe. Wait, what? Yeah, this tree, this tree is going oddly slow. Anyways, uh, really just need to make sure this is, make sure this is an entirely flat area. I'm going to say, though, this spawn slightly more fortunate than the other one. Anyways, Place down supply camp, uh, supply camp style, fortress, supply camp. Make sure the exit of the fortress is facing where I base, where I kind of want to leave my house from. Five. And then is it flush with, with the edge of the chunk? Yes, it is. And so on every face, is it actually, it fits? Yeah. Does it fit perfectly? Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. So hit confirm. That builds, that builds the structure. So, next off, I'm gonna start leveling a couple, couple of these blocks out. Hold on, F3G, uh, F3. So, I'm gonna dig all the way around, and that should very quickly kill my shovel. But that, don't worry about the shovel because there's a, there, are, there are other, other shovels that should actually be inside the house. Just kind of run in, break, break this. Oh, I mean, not break. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, open that. Sorry, uh, brain, brain's not, brain's not doing super hot today. So, bunch of stuff in those, bunch of stuff in those racks, bunch of stuff in here, and I actually get a, what? Hold on. I get starter leather armor. That's pretty cool. Now, I also get a starter stone, a wooden sword, and a starter shield. It's weird that, it's weird that I, it's weird that I can do this, but if I just break this mannequin and place it again, it just becomes a regular mannequin with no arms, and I can't exactly put the shield on it, which is fair, because I was probably never going to use that shield. Wooden swords, how can I use them? Put them in an anvil, I could put them in an enchantment, but okay, wooden swords, practically useless. Uh, uh, still, keeping it in my inventory. First slot, second slot, pick. Axe, you, you you already know. Third slot, shovel. Fourth slot, axe. Hoe, not necessary at the moment. Hoe's unnecessary. Something, some, something, something. I feel, I feel like, I feel like I could say something there. Place your town hall where four chunks meet. Yeah, I, I know. I've played, I've played with this build style before. And that's a town hall and a, and a rack. And a, yeah, that's a town hall and a placement thingy. Oh, it also gives us a couple of starting boons. I, I, I like how I said starting starting boons like this was Dark Souls. Anyways, it gives us uh, these three items, each of which I am going to plant somewhere they will grow and multiply. First off, get get lost. First off is this. Second off, I need to get... Oh, okay, so that's, that's where the river goes down. Next up, I need to get a little bit more cactus. Now, the reason I need cactus is because if you take a cactus... Well, okay, first off, it's, it's one of the blocks used to make a plantation, but if you smelt it, you can create green dye, and if you use green dye, you can create a lime dye, and then if you use lime dye with a piece of dough, you can get you can get a slime balls without having to find a slime chunk and kill kill the slimes. So yeah, that's that's uh that's 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 a thing. That's 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 progression, baby. So all three of the things I planted are ready to go, are going to be ready to go pretty soon. Next up, uh, I guess, oh wait, hold on. Oh, they gave me a bunch of dark oak sap. Oh wow, they gave me one of each type of sapling. That is actually very charitable. Unfortunately, dark oak saplings don't really grow by themselves. So 
You might have wanted to fix that. Also, oh, you can you can get inside the pen. Don't worry. I'm not I'm not gonna eat you yet. I'm not. I don't intend to eat you at the moment. Okay. So let me just break these four. That's too close to my house. Uh, I'm going to very quickly run across the river. So these uh, starting gifts are basically the things you use to to get mine colonies up and running. So uh, yeah. So they are, they're going to be pretty helpful. And I'm just going to wait for that tree to grow so that I can, you know, actually another bamboo would be kind of nice. They, they, they are good for a bunch of things. So that's the bamboo done. Next up is probably going to be to find a place to put my town hall. Now, placing the town hall, town hall is sort of the heart of your entire base. Oh, wait, jungle oaks or jungle saplings are one of those you need like multiples to plant because the only ones that are good returns on investment are the 4x4s. So, to create my town hall, I am going to need quite a big flat area. So, this would be kind of decent if it was about five times as long. Yeah, but anyways, this, this, uh, this area in general is pretty decent. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to get to I guess I, I guess I'm just so many bees I'm not I'm not even I'm not even kidding there's so many bees it's not even funny as this so many bees anyways uh what did I okay they gave me some yes they gave me a starter gift of a bunch of coal I think what I'm going to begin to do is I'm going to begin to mine. So this is actually kind of kind of fortuitous. I had almost enough wood, and I'm going to make two stacks. And then from here, I am going to basically just travel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to travel to this exact stone block. Okay, I see a little bit of iron over there. That's nice. And I will advance into the Stone Age. And then using the... Uh, oh, actually, there's quite a bit of iron here. Oh, wow, there's even some in the ground. Okay. I'm going to... First off, I'm going to make myself a Stone Pick, because... Easy upgrade. After Stone Pick, Iron Pick immediately. And then... Hmm... Not really sure how I'm gonna go from there. Okay. Uh, I guess well, I guess logically, just burn up, burn up the wooden picks. Uh, mine down. Go for the diamond pick. Seems like seems like it. Seems like it makes sense. Alternatively, I could see if there's like a steel pickaxe. Use that like an intermediary. But oh, it's it's bedtime. Oh, it's time to. You know what? I'm taking the bed with me. <laughs> and the reason I'm taking the bed with me is because I'm gonna. Mine up as much iron as I can before I go to sleep, and then once I go to sleep, I'm gonna, gonna wake up and get to get to work building the rest. Oh my god! Wow, this is quite a lot of quite a lot of iron in the region, if I do say so myself. Quite a quite a quite a massive amount. There's some on that ridge, which I'm going to climb up to uh, after I sleep the night. So. There's quite a bit of quite a bit of iron that's readily available. That's that's very good to see. Especially because I am super early game and I need a bunch of iron. So grab all this. Come down here. Break this. Break this. Break this. And I need to work out a place to put my town hall. But in addition to the town hall, I need to actually find space to put a bunch of guard towers. And that's going to be... The guard towers are pretty much what keeps my village safe from barbarian raids and stuff like that. So yeah. Just here, break through here, here, here. Oh wow, a lot of iron. Super plentiful mineral. Okay, grab all this. And that is not enough to make a good rotary farm, but I guess it could theoretically be enough to make a farm. It could, it could make, it wouldn't make the best farm, but it would make a farm, you know? Anyways, let's go, let's go three blocks wide for the mine entrance. 
Also because I kind of need cobble at this stage stage in the game. Using using create, I probably won't need cobble after a while, but at the moment, yeah, need 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 tons of the stuff. So let's go. Let's let's just begin going down. Honestly. And while I'm while I'm here, I, while I'm still this close to the still like this I guess within reach of my house. Uh, oh, hey, acacia, acacia sapling has grown. Nice. While I'm still this close to my house, I am going to put in one of these, and I'm going to put in eight of these. Oh, however many that much will smell. So the goal is to make myself. You know what? I could do. I could do with two iron pickaxes. Honestly, and I'll keep the wooden pickaxe up here. I'll put the stone in my inventory because stone still mines at quite a decent speed. And there we go. First achievement: acquire hardware. Next achievement is probably going to be Iron Pickaxe. Oh, Isn't It Iron Pick? Which I feel like was meant to be a pun on Isn't It Ironic, but it's it's kind of poorly executed. Okay. Iron Pickaxe. There we go. Next stop. Uh, uh, deep down in the mine. Moving all of these items a little bit over. And my god, I am a forest filled with fucking bees again. It's it's not even funny. There's like a million bees in this place. I feel like if I hit one of them by accident, I'm going to die crushed under a swarm. They're not even going to like poison me or anything. They're just going to crush me with their body weight. You know, between like the million of them there are. Like there are, min there are bees here. Bees here number rival the numbers of actual bee colonies. Which, you know, kind of funny I'm playing mine colonies. I should call this pack Mine Collar Bees. <laughs> that was that was terrible. That was probably one of the single worst puns I've ever made. I uh, if you guys were planning to invite me to like a blunt rotation and you wanted to kick me out after that, I feel like it's fine. I feel like it's uh, I I, I feel like it's fine to keep me out of the uh, kick me out of the blunt rotation. Ask me to leave the party. That's uh, entirely fair. Anyways, I'm just going to keep mining down, because eventually, if I mine down for long enough, I am hopefully going to mine some. I'm hopefully going to find some good stuff. So, eventually, anyway, I'm going to hit some good stuff. Oh, my screen is bugging out again. Lovely. Well, now that I... It's, it's really just a small issue of, like, swipe the screen and then hop back in and the stuff stops bugging out. But yeah. So, what I need to do is I need to find a place that is semi-flat land. And in that area of semi-flat land, what I need to do is I need to find a place that is basically uh, five chunks. Because the the uh, town hall in this build, or in this, I guess, style, is... A two by two chunk area and the barracks are two by three right and the barracks are like basically the main castle entryway and then on top of that i'm actually going to have to make it slightly longer and the reason i'm going to want it to be slightly longer is because i don't want it to just be barracks that like end straight away i want them to like bridge out into like a more expansive like castle like a castillo it, it's going to be i can create i can create drawings for you or i can show you what it looks like physically it's uh either or I mean I get either or because I'm because I'm mining coal at the moment no it's gonna be e either it's gonna be either one of the two so it's gonna be I guess I guess I guess like and like a ring fort I want to say I don't know if ring fort is even the appropriate word it is going to be a rounder build of the fortress persuasion.
So, got a bunch got a bunch of cobblestone here. Actually, if I wanted to get started on, I guess, using cobblestone for a bunch of stuff, like, what is a sticker? Oh, wait, I think it's one of those things that, like, attaches blocks that are placed above it. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I could use. could also make myself a stone lucerne hammer. That would be pretty cool. And... Honestly, a bunch of things ready to be made. I'm mostly... What? Anvil? Okay, yeah. I was mostly thinking, like, uh... I can crush it into gravel, and then I can begin working on... Huh. Okay. I can begin working on, I guess, bulk washing it, and that would create a very early game iron farm that is powered by Create, which honestly, I, I would be entirely okay with. But here's the thing. Grindstones are actually kind of expensive to make. To create a grindstone, what I would need is... Give me a moment. Sorry, it's crushing wheel. To create a crushing wheel, I would need all of these things, and I would need 21 mechanical crafters, each of which requires electron tubes and brass casing. Brass just requires brass in, in a blaze burner. Okay, it, it requires me to use a blaze burner in conjunction with zinc and copper to produce. Next up, the electron tubes. These are a real pain in the ass. I need iron sheets and polished rose quartz. To create polished rose quartz, I need rose quartz and sandpaper. To create rose quartz, I need a bunch of redstone and a bunch of nether quartz. It's a real pain. It is a real pain to produce. But, um, what is... Okay, we had my, my mouse key... My, yeah, my mouse is definitely on the fritz. Like, uh... It's, it's, it's just really gone on the fritz. Anyways, we are now at sea level. Well, we are now almost at sea level, and my iron pick has been completely eaten through. I, I almost said eaten out. That's 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 a different that's a different thing. Is it nighttime? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to head back up. Actually, you know what? I could go a little bit lower with the stone pick that I have. It's a bit slower, but it's I mean, it's slow going. But I mean, stone pickaxes we can we can. Not exactly this in like indispensable, you know. They're just they're just kind of they're just tools. So I'm just gonna keep breaking down until I hit. Oh, I'm just gonna keep breaking down. Makes it sound like I'm having a mental breakdown. <laughs> Anyways, keep breaking, keep breaking, keep uh breaking rock and I guess picking locks. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> don't really know where that was supposed to go. Anyways. Keep breaking, breaking, breaking. And hopefully I'll get a little bit closer to a desired Y level. And then once I once I get a little bit oh hey, more iron. That is actually wait, oh wow, this is I found a cave. This is a cave. That is terrifying. How do I get down? I I believe I believe common consensus is that you you kind of don't you fall, but I uh don't don't really fancy that at me. So I'm just going to you know I'm just just going to bridge across and you know like a smart man pretend I ain't see anything. Also now I have now I have the stuff I need to produce a dripstone farm. That's pretty cool. Uh, honestly, yeah, I can I can begin digging down with this, and I do not. So before I go back up, let's see. Pointed dripstone can be used use an automated packing or a bunch of things, and I can use dripstone blocks for stone cutting to produce a specific item. Stone cut a bunch of things out of dripstone. I can crush them into clay balls. Oh wow. I can mill them into clay balls. This might actually be a decent clay farm. Now, wait, hold on. What can I use clay for? I can use it for clay. I can smelt it into bricks. I can pack it into clay. I can yada yada bulk blast villager trades. Hold on. Let's let's go back to let's go back to bricks. Bricks can be used for a bunch of other things. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Bricks. We'll create brown bricks, cream bricks. Okay. I feel like I feel like the main use would be 
to create some sort of uh, clay farm, clay blocks, use clay, and then what can I use terracotta for? I can use it for a bunch of things like colored terracotta, that's pretty nice. Use it for a bunch of things with create, can package it into other stuff. Uh, I can crush it into red sand. That, you know what, this might actually be kind of a useful method to produce red sand. So here, here's what I'm thinking, right? Red sand can be used to make explosives. It can be used to make uh, sandpaper, which is useful. It's melted into glass. A bunch of other things, honestly. I can I can bulk wash it to get gold. So, oh wait, and I can also compress it into granite somehow. So hear me out, okay? Uh, dripstone farm, windmill powered dripstone farm. Oh wait, that's, I see mobs. That means it's nighttime. Windmill powered dripstone farm that rotates around and round, uh, crushes, uh, takes takes that, crushes it into clay, or sorry, grinds it into clay using the crushing wheel. Takes takes it out from that. Uh, I believe it compacts it using just a press. Uses that press, uh, bulk washes it. Sorry, bulk uh, bulk roasts it, so it becomes terracotta. Uh, crushes the terracotta, turns that into gold. We have a gold farm. We have, you know, an easy gold farm that just, just, you know, produces gold. It just magically produces gold. I, do I, what, well, actually, hold on. Before I do that, before I do any of that, what's gold useful for? Gold coins from Create Deco. Okay, that's uh. So crushed gold or gold coin? How is a single gold coin made? I turn four coin, four coin, a gold coin stack into four gold coins. How do I produce a gold coin? I, this, 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 this is a little bit absurd. I can create cage lamps, uh, create dangerous weapons, gold sheet metal, gold bars, golden helmets. What can I use gold ingots for, though? I guess it's kind of useful for piglin bartering. Other than that. Not a huge amount. Oh wait, mob drops. Yeah, I could do that. As a oh wow, one. That's a pretty cool blacksmith mechanic. Nether miner makes periodic tricks to the Nether to retrieve materials, but it's a very dangerous job and it requires significant supplies. Okay. Uh, oh, Nether miner is a block now. Okay, so he can he can mine it with gold. He can also get a bunch of these other things that are kind of useful. What's let me let me see level five. Okay. <gasps> no way. No way I can have this motherfucker farming ancient debris for me. Holy shit. I just want you to know that I have a new favorite uh I have a new favorite guy. And it's uh, I have a new favorite like m m villager job villager profession and it's it's that guy it's not it's 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 that guy by a small by a huge margin it's not even a tiny margin either it's a fucking huge one this guy's 100 110 percent my new favorite guy i'm uh every, yeah every, all, all the other mine colonies villagers can kind of fuck off there's there's they don't they do very little that create cannot do for me but this is one thing I always do a. I, I'm just. I'm just gonna wait for fast leaf decay to take that stuff down. But oh wow, more bab. I almost said more baboons. More bamboos. That's that's. Yes, English. You're a very. You're a very good language to me. Why is it? Why is it always that? Like, like when as soon as I find bamboo, my first thought is, can I use this to make a defensive perimeter around my house? weird it's like it's it's become it's become a fetish at this point i was like having a well defended house and as far as saplings go we're back to square one on that one except we do have a little bit more wood which is nice so let's uh come up here chuck all of this up here polished dripstone can now be used to make a farm so what i'm going to do is first off uh we have three iron left that's a decent amount. So let's do one, two, three. Okay. And use that to make a water bucket. 
And what I can do is I can go one, two, three, four, five. Then I can go up, build this stuff here. I'll build this around this. Uh, where's my? Oh my god, I don't have a pickaxe on me. That is, that is, that's a that's that's a pretty stupid thing I did. Pretty dumb thing I did just there. Okay. So, oh wait, hold on, wrong block. That is not a fuel source. That is. Okay, so I'm going to make myself an iron pick, an iron pickaxe, an iron pickaxe, and then once I do that, I'll, uh, and once I have my iron pickaxe, I'm going to uh, break through that, 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 and this is going to be a little complicated, so, a little complicated to place, not very, not very complicated in terms of, like, technique and everything. So, place that there, break through this, break through this, uh, place pointed dripstone under here. As time goes on, that pointed dripstone is going to get longer, and it's eventually going to drip down here as well. And, oh, actually, you know what, maybe I should replace this with like a stone-like block. Something something I think pointed dripstone could grow on top of. Either way, let me just uh, Go back into my house because this—that's going to be a very slow pro progress. That's going to be a very slow process. I mean, and uh, yeah, so we have a wooden, we have a wooden pickaxe. Let me actually get enough to make a second wooden pick. Wait, wait, can I afford enough to make a third? Yes, I can. Okay. Bam. Shbada bing, shbada boom, shbada bang, bing bomb. Let's make let's make two iron picks because. Uh, 119 worlds are a lot deeper than, you know, 1, 1. 1.18 worlds were. And I could make myself a new shovel, but I, I'm already running down into the mine with two of them. So, yeah, that's, that's you know, kind of my deal. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of a good thing. Okay, I, I really hate the fact that I made a staircase like this. But here's the thing. A three-block staircase can come later. I can make this whole place beautiful if given more time. Right, at the moment, I really don't have time. What I'm trying to do is get deep enough into the ground that I can pull up a little bit more iron. So specifically, I'm trying to get to Y16. And then from Y16, I will need a bunch of iron to make a mechanical press. So I'm going to need at least enough to make an iron block. I'm also going to need a bunch of andesite alloy on top of that. Sorry, I just like I just like the slightly more animated texture. Okay. Uh, on top of on top of the andesite alloy that I would like to make. Thank you. There you go. On top of the andesite alloy that I would like made, uh, there's also I guess other material costs involved. Oh, why why did I do that? Why did I do that? Uh yeah, I'm gonna need to make andesite casings. I'm gonna need to make the mechanical press. I'm gonna have to use the mechanical press to flatten a bunch of iron, and then I'm going to have to turn that into some sort of food creator device thing. Oh, but fortunately, I think I found an. I think I found andesite. Yeah, I did. Nice. Okay. So I'm not gonna mine the whole vein. I'm just going to, I guess, expand this area a tiny bit. So one to mine down a little bit more of this. Oh wow, there's there's quite a lot of this stuff. I you know what? I don't think I need to worry about andesite as much. It's uh it's it's the resource that's going to be hard to get are going to be the the two things that I use to make andesite alloy. It's going to be zinc and iron. Fortunately though, I smelted a I set a bunch of iron to smelt upstairs. That should hopefully give me marginally more, I think. I want to say it'll give me slightly more. Either way, uh, wow, 6:43. I've been I've been going for a while, and honestly, I could go I could go even longer. I want to say that if you gave me time to go brew myself a coffee, uh, at 7:30, I could go until like I could go until 10:40, maybe even 11. But yeah, whole whole lot of whole lot of whole lot of progress. Oh wait, hold on, I just went past the ideal the optimal iron level. So, optimal iron level is y equals 16, which is going to be here, eventually. 
So, oh, that's that's not iron, but I will take it actually, because zinc is one of the things that you use to make uh, andesite alloy. Oh wow, there's a lot of zinc. This must be like two veins on top of each other. Oh, game. Thank you. Please respond. So let's go through a little bit, a little bit more. And if you're wondering why I'm at Y17, it's a uh... Wait, hold on. Why am I at Y17? I should be should be a block lower than that. Well, either way, let me just uh just widen this corridor a little bit. Anyways, yeah, this is this is Y16. This is this is optimal iron level. The other doing the other thing was a mistake. Oh well, silly me. Anyways, let's let's keep going. And uh, yeah, soon enough we should hit a bunch more iron because we're at the perfect level for it. And if we don't hit iron, we'll be hitting zinc because you know there's zinc here. And using this zinc, we can actually create. Oh wow, nice big zinc veins. Oh wow, I like zinc. It's pretty. It's a very nice ore texture. So. With this zinc, I might actually have enough andesite alloy to begin... You know what? Yeah, I might have enough enough raw ore to begin working on all the other andesite alloy stuff. Because zinc nuggies can also become andesite alloys, If in case, someone, in case anyone didn't know that. Yeah, and then using that I can make a... Actually, I can get started on quite a few things. Oh wow, copper as well. I like copper. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go until the next pickaxe breaks. Okay, so currently I have a one pickaxe and I believe I have two in my inventory. If not, one of them broke in my travels and I'm using. Oh wow! Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I've got I've got a couple more pickaxes. I'm going to use one more. I'm gonna use one more until it breaks, and then after that one breaks, I'm going to begin effectively just. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to switch to the next one. Use this until it explodes. And keep mining the stuff I need. Oh, yay, iron. This is also good for things that don't use... Uh, things that cannot be substituted for... Z things that zinc cannot be a substitute for. So, let's grab this iron. And let's get, get our asses back in gear. So, let's... Oh, my neck. Whew. And uh, yeah, let's let's just keep let's just keep strip mining until we hit something. How much zinc do I have? Forty-two raw zinc. Okay, I can use that, and I can create zinc ingots, each of which can be used to create zinc nuggets, each of which can be used in turn to create andesite alloy, which is the thing the thing we need a shitload of, the thing we need metric shitloads of, and more zinc. Beautiful. I think zinc spawns at the same Y level as iron. There's no other explanation for why it's being so fucking plentiful. But you know what? I'm not even complaining. It's 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 it's, it's a puzzle. it's a good material. It's it's good. It's sturdy. I, I I'd assume zinc is sturdy. I know zinc's magnetic. I think zinc is magnetic. Anyways, Yeah, okay, so gonna grab gonna grab quite a bit of andesite. And using this andesite, I am going to continue making a a Hojima call it. Uh I'm gonna use it for andesite alloy. And using that andesite alloy, I can actually uh you know what honestly I have all the things I need to begin work on the mechanical press at the very least. And that would be a pretty good day one start. But wait, hold on. No, I only have seven pieces of iron. I need way more. I need nine pieces of iron at the very least, and the nine pieces of iron will go towards creating the iron block. And then, uh, in addition to that, if I want a food farm, I'm going to want five mechanical harvesters. So let's 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 do some math, okay? I need nine iron. 
for to make to make this iron block. Ignore the ignore the andesite ink alloys that I'd be using for this. Next up is a harvester. Each of these two iron sheets. If I want five, that's ten. That's nineteen iron. Next up, andesite alloys. We're gonna count this. There's four of each of them, but it's it's kind of a smaller amount. Okay. Last thing we need. Oh, next thing we need sail frames. This also requires, uh, well, this requires andesite, and it's actually slightly cheaper. And in addition to that, I can use I can use pretty much any sheep's wool, but I am going to need a pair of shears to get that wool, risk like continually. So that's two iron. And then, in addition to that, to create a storage portable storage interface, I'm going to need a chute, which is at least I'm going to need at least three iron. So three. So this is. Uh, 9 plus 3 is 12. This is this is 24. I need 24 iron ingots at the very least. Now that will leave me... Okay, that doesn't even count the andesite alloys I'm going to be needing. Oh, hey, lapis. Lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli is very lacooly. It's a... Uh, please never mention that limerick ever again. Uh, auto converts compatible items. Ooh, wow. Can auto pack it, can shape craft it, can... Grind it into blue dye and slightly more blue dye. Oh, I can haunt it into prismarine crystals. Odd choice. I can use it as a dye. Enchanter can produce scrolls. Ultra safe colony teleport scroll. Teleports me to the scrolls. Spatial guard reinforcement scroll. Call your guards to help you out for a limited time. Oh, okay. Okay. And then cross mechanisms. Okay. Wow, this is this. You know what? The lapis is at least useful for the ability to create teleport scrolls that will bring me straight back to my house, or my colony, rather. I called my I called my house a colony. I called my colony a house. That's uh That's 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 a thing. So yeah, I'm thinking that if I do build myself a house, first off it's going to be within the walls of my colony. And second off, uh it's going to be like a custom structure I make. I'm gonna call it like the administrator's house. Like the Tower of Administration. And I'm just going to live inside the tower, and I'm going to administrate all the things that happen within the town. Yeah. Oh, maybe like the Arbiters. Actually, the Arbiter is a way cooler title than the Administrator. So, I'm going to call it the Arbiter's Tower. And within the Arbiter's Tower, it's going to it's going to fit into the same six, uh, 16 by 16 block footprint as all the other things in the town. Or maybe it's going to be slightly smaller. Well, it's Okay, it's going to be... The whole, the whole build is going to fit within a specific footprint, the same as... One of the medium builds in, in 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 the current one we have, yeah. So let's let's uh, let's just continue going. Let's continue going strong. There's a ruined nether portal on the surface, but I'm not super interested in that. Yeah, 24, 24 iron ingots is the bare minimum I need. But we're gonna let's let's just make that like 27, so I have enough andesite alloy for everything I want. Okay, now. Here's the thing, I could, you know what, I should probably use up this iron pickaxe as well, because I, I'd rather do a, do a little bit more mining down here instead of making two trips, one back upstairs, dump stuff, smelt the iron, realize I don't have enough iron, in, and then come back down into the mine to mine some more. What I'd really rather do is I'd just like to come down here with the three iron pickaxes that I came down with, and then mine until I have enough. But oddly enough, it doesn't look like I'll I'll have enough, which means I might need to go back into that cave, use a water bucket to get down safely, and uh, and use the last of this pickaxe to mine out a bunch of a bunch of cave iron, which is going to be very dangerous. It's going to be very very dangerous actually. But I mean, I have fourteen. I need ten more. I don't think I have 10 smelting away upstairs. We could take a gamble on that. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized I don't need to account for the amount of uh, andesite alloy. I really just need to account for iron value alone because I'll be turning my zinc into andesite alloys. Saves me saves me a little trouble there. Anyhow, let's let's keep going. I would like to mine up all this coal, but every every pickaxe durability counts. And uh and don't 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 mistake me. I am counting. I'm counting on having enough pickaxe durability to get to where I need to be. That's that's mainly 
the one outing on. Also, this is going to be a decent, decent first mining trip because it's get it's going to get me a lot of cobblestone, which I need for mining stuff. Which, well, I mean, I need cobblestone for almost every single building in the fortress style once it gets past the third level. That's a that's that's a whole thing. That's a, there's a whole fucking quest line. Like at some point, I'm going to need to get a bunch of stuff. And at some point after that, I'm also going to need to get myself a ton of uh, N stuff. I'm going to get, need to give them like N rods and chorus fruit and shit like that. But yeah, that's uh, a whole whole thing. Anywho, let's let's just keep going. Let's hope we find one more iron vein. One more solid, solid iron vein would probably do it. And we're just going to ignore this. We're just going to ignore the zinc for a little bit. Don't Don't get me wrong, we'll come back to it eventually later, but actually, you know what, I should probably just mine it since I might not ever come back down this tunnel again. I might realize that what I have is sufficient to when I when I head back to the surface, and then I might just not use this tunnel again. Or if I want to do this tunnel, I might, uh, if I want to use this tunnel again, I might just come down it for like, I don't know, just, just to make a bunch of branches that don't go, that don't come anywhere near this far. But yeah, let's, let's Let's just keep going. I have traveled distance. I've traveled 145 blocks. I've traveled. Uh, I've traveled way more than that. It's just, it's just the last last uh, number coordinate I looked at was 100 and it was negative one. But yeah, we've uh, we've traveled the distance. How far have we traveled? Quite a bit. That's where our home is. Um. Now, addressing the elephant in the room. Yes, I see the ruined nether portal. It's kind of hard to miss on a giant green background. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some iron or some good stuff in it. Uh, no, I'm not going to dig up to get it. Uh, I still have still have a little bit more iron I'd like to find, but if that cannot happen... Oh, yep, that cannot happen. Okay, so I have 10... I have... I have 14 raw iron, which should hopefully be enough. I want to say that's going to be enough. Uh, oh, hey, I missed some copper in the ceiling. God damn. Oh, uh, well. Not coming back for it now. Or not coming back for it in a while. Anyways, let me just, uh... Let me just keep running. I'm not in hardcore mode, so I don't need to worry about starvation killing me. That's that's one good thing. But here's the thing, it's it's almost as much of a shame to die from starvation as it is to die from, say, an armored zombie beating you to death with a what I wanna say is a sharpened copper sword. He was he was wearing chainmail, so he was at least at that tier. And he didn't he didn't just hit me, he comboed me. Okay, that motherfucker pulled out the sword and then gave me the fucking work. You know? There's a probably good stuff in that cave, but I'm not 1,000% interested in going down into that cave. Not at, not, not at the moment, at least. When I have, like, steel armor again, when I have, like, full steel armor, maybe I'll consider it. Yeah, but, the, but at that point, I'll probably be digging way deeper in the world, so I would probably be in, like, lush cave territory at that point. Anyways, not a, not a huge problem. I'm just running back up, running up that hill, climbing up that mountain. Running up that valley. If only I could make a deal with God and get someone to switch swap our places. You know, you know how it is. And once I'm up to the surface, I am going to begin. Uh, well, first off, I have a tree that needs to be cut down. No, oh, no tree hasn't grown yet. Okay, my bad. Uh, no tree that needs to be cut down. I could I could cross the river and cut down the other tree, but that's that's a little bit of a pain. Anyways, what I needed to do was, okay, six iron, not going to be enough. Uh, what I need to do is I need to put this iron in here. What it is, what six iron is going to be enough for is one, two, three. Uh, me to do something very dumb, very daft, mindless even. I'm going to go down into that dangerous looking cave. I'm going to basically, yeah, I'm basically going to Leroy Jenkins yeet myself into that cave with 
no regard for like own personal safety or shit like that. Just uh, just got a couple torches, you know. You know how it is. To a couple torches, pickaxe, vibes. Really, really all, really all a man needs in this world. So this is going to be enough iron to get most of the twenty. Look, okay, not even most of the twenty-four. It's going to be like halfway to what I need. So. Uh, we can. I can just take a quick preliminary look at this mountainside. It's probably not going to have all of the iron I'd need. It's, we're probably actually going to come up quite a bit short. So, let me see. Jump, jump, jump. Jimpity jump. Jimpity jumpity jump. Jumpity jumpity jump. Uh, it's not not enough. Not not enough iron sticking out of the cliff face. So, we need to go down. We need to go down to the dangerous place. I wish I I wish I'd remembered to add Optifine to the pack so that I could like throw a torch down and then it would like it would like light up whatever was below me. That uh that feels like that feels like a sensible thing to do. And as we know, I'm not a very sensible person, so as we know I try to be a sensible person. Doesn't doesn't always work. Not 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 all the time. Okay, let's go down and do something d -d -d dangerous. Oh, that is that is a fucking skeleton with a sword. Holy shit. Holy shit fucking hell. Fucking hell, that is a skeleton with a sword. Okay. Uh yeah, hard mode is no joke, especially when skeletons come down wielding stuff like that. That's a... Oh, wait. Okay, so it turns out it's just a regular Minecraft skeleton. It's just that he has a sword. And a chest plate and a... Shield. Did he drop his stuff? No, he just dropped a couple bones. Okay, well... Goddamn, first of all. That was fucking terrifying. Almost, almost caught my first L here. Almost caught my first fucking L in this cave. Kind of a big cave network. Uh, kind of a big cave. Full stop. Uh, yeah, where's the iron? That's really all I'm here for, you know. Zinc, great. Uh oh, uh oh, not not more of you motherfuckers. Let me guess, you have a weapon as well? No, no. Oh, you just you just you're just a pugilist. Ow, motherfucker. Okay, so pugilist zombies are not that scary. Uh, pugilist zombies with brass knuckles, because they can spawn with them, I believe. That that's those those are a lot more scary than regular pugilist zombies. Uh. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's one of those armor breaker weapons. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I'm 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 fleeing. We 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 are going to peace out of this fight. Actually, wait, no. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that you do not know how to use a ranged weapon. Did I just <gasps> rusted heavy mace. Four attack damage, five attack damage. Seems like a slight upgrade. Seems like the kind of upgrade you get from, you know, when you're playing an RPG game, like an MMO, and you get your first weapon, which is like dad's dad's wooden sword, dad's rusty sword. You know, like the and and the and the item tooltip is like, this is the rusty sword your dad used when he was a soldier in the Great War long ago. And then you upgrade to like a non-rusty sword. It feels like that upgrade. And then you take the second weapon with you to get to get it like and you basically pawn that shit off immediately. Listen, 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 I will fucking crack your skull open. I was under the impression that maces did more to armored targets, or did better against armored targets. 
Apparently not. Anyways, that guy was in full Norman armor. I do not know what that is. And you motherfuckers just do not take a break. Do you, do you have like a day off? Do you um do you guys observe any holidays? Ramadan maybe? Oh, fun fact, there's a Ramadan mod for Minecraft. And I'll, I'll basically I'll tell you what it does. It's based on what Skep told me from reading its description, right? Uh, fasting starts at 0500, so 5 in the morning. Fasting ends at 20, 20 hundred, so 8, 8 in the evening. If you eat during Ramadan, lightning will- oh my god, oh my god, that is fucking terrifying. If you eat during Ramadan, lightning will fall from the sky and strike you. I'm not- I'm not even making that up. That's... That's a thing in the game. But yeah, they, like, look it up. There's, there's a mod called Ramadan Fasting, and it's actually pretty- pretty fucking funny. Rusted Great Helm, plus three armor. Rusted Norman Helm. Well, you can't see my face, but I'm slightly well protect. I'm slightly more well protected, so I guess, I guess that's cool. What is not cool is the fact that I don't seem to have found any iron whatsoever. Like, am I am I above the typical iron level? Is this? Am I am I doing something wrong? Maybe I should explore the other fork of the cave. Mayhaps I should. Also, free blocks. I will never turn down free stuff. Unless it's free stuff I don't really need. At which point, you know, I will I will most definitely turn it down. Because what, what good is giving me free stuff if I'm going to throw it away six hours from now, you know? Okay. Uh... Hello? Any any uh any little bits of iron ore that want to be mined by me and come home with me and potentially achieve greatness by being part of a cool machine? No? Any iron ore? What is that? Scoria. Oh, does that mean I'm near a volcano or something? I know that Scoria is is the is the real life name for stuff that oh great. Yeah, you just I'm not I'm not even gonna try. I know that like scoria is a volcan vol is a pro byproduct of volcanism, volcanism, volcanism. I I'll just say volcanism because it sounds cooler when you say it that way, when you say it that way. Fuck it, do your worst. Like I I. You know what? Screw it. You too. Do your worst. What about you? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That is... That that actually caught me very much off guard. Uh, okay, look at you. Holy shit. That is a great sword you have. I, I, I mean, he was not like great qualitatively. I mean, he literally had a great sword. Rusted chainmail leggings? Screw it, I'll wear them. I'll wear pretty much anything. As long as it makes that little, little, you know, armor bar go up a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not finding a lot of iron in this cave. This has been kind of a, kind. in terms of iron, this has kind of been a letdown. In terms of zinc, holy shit, I, I can I can I can start a zinc store. I can open up a zinc store and sell zinc every day of the week and I'd still have a little bit of zinc left over to give people on Christmas, but this 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 cave is iron iron poor. Which uh, kinda makes sense because I am poor at the moment. Okay, let's mine this iron real quick and see what we can do with Scoria. Oh wow, nice. Oh my god, this iron vein is actually quite big. Honestly, that, that might that might be Gucci. Hold on. Scoria uses. Turn it into Scorchia. Haha. <laughs> Stone cut it. Shape it. Cut it. Or use it with a in conjunction with a dyer. Okay, this this is def Oh! 
Hello, JST Killer. Welcome, welcome to stream. I feel like you've been here before. That or you just have a very familiar sounding username. I think you've I think you've been in the stream one or two times before though. I think. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, you know, I'm Hollow Heart YT, so I'm never wrong. <laughs> and if I somehow am wrong, I'm going to gaslight my fans into believing that I was actually right. Ah, okay. Welcome, welcome back. So we've started a create series, and uh, well, we, when we started the create series, Elfie was there for like pretty much the first minute, and I, and he told me to make it hardcore, and then I died. So that world is gone, along with all my create contraptions in it. But fortunately, it wasn't a very old world; it was just like a couple days old, honestly. And yeah. So that, that create world is finished, and I have just started a new one, and we're playing a special mod pack I've made. So it's create is the main one, mine colonies is another, we have storage drawers, and we have... Uh, mm, uh, last time I was here, we were talking about you joining the Singapore army. We actually were, and I have in fact joined the Singapore army. So let me let me show you my head. It's completely bald. All of my hair is gone. You, uh, you. I don't know if you remember the hair I had before. Oh, give me a second. I don't know if you remember the hair I had before, but uh, yeah, I don't have it anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm shaved. Anyways, that's that's my hair gone. And yeah, I got back. I got back after my 14-day confinement week, which is sorry, oxy a little bit oxymoronic. But we have something called a confinement period, and the confinement period is two weeks. So we we went in and we spent 14 days in in the camp. Is that why you're wearing that green thing? Uh, no, the green thing was actually one of my bandanas that I I didn't I didn't use a lot before. But yeah, this is a green thing might be a new permanent feature on my head. Okay. So let's do this and let's split this in half and let's actually start on this because but yeah that the the green thing the green thing's a hat oh sorry the green thing's a beret sorry not not a beret what am i fucking saying the green thing is a uh bandana so I, I i like a wireless bandana i guess okay so let's put this here put this here so it's 20 do you like having no hair honestly yeah it is actually like before, when I did shampoo, I'd have to fill up like my cupped palm. Now I just take the shampoo bottle, like tap it on my palm, and the amount of shampoo that stays from me tapping my palm is enough that I can wash my whole head. It's honestly pretty freeing. Saves me saves me quite a bit of like wash washing and everything. So I just realized that I do not I have not made a windmill bearing. Shit. It must be cooler as well. It is actually a lot cooler not having hair windmill bearing so i don't think you need much to make the windmill bearing yeah it's just any kind of stone and a bunch of things made from andesite also pretty cool armor added by this uh by this mod if i do say so myself this is rusted mace texture oddly cool and then if i use spartan weaponry and press r to enter battle mode i get i i, I instantly look way cooler i can like shield up and i can do these like amazing mace slashes but yeah it is it is it is a lot it is a lot cooler without hair. It's it's a it's a lot less fun though. I like I liked having my long hair. I liked having the same fucking Armani cut that I've that I've had since I was like. I want to okay. So I've been wearing my hair in the Armani style for basically since I was a child, right? I was one of those like NPCs who never changed their hair, except for 2016 when I ended my end level year. And you still got hair on your last stream. I did, in fact, have hair on my last stream. But yeah, I ended my I ended my end level year, and I just grew my hair out so long because I wanted to turn that shit into a pompadour. And uh, yeah, I, I I shaved the pompadour in, uh, almost immediately because I I hated the feeling of having hair that long. It was like it was like torture having hair that long, especially when it came to showering with it. Anyways, I uh. No, no longer have a pompadour. And yeah, you ended that streak too. Yep, I, I, I did, I did. But I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. The Singapore army treats me decently. I, uh, 
I don't I'm I'm not gonna mourn my lost hair. As much as I want to. That shit that shit was fire as hell. Had that fucking slick back Armani look. No no no. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mourn my hair. Don't worry. So first things first. I need Now it's the no hair streak. Exactly. And the no hair streak is gonna last five months. Hold on, sorry. I should be looking at press. Yeah, there we go. So mechanical press requires an andesite casing, a shaft, and a block of iron. <laughs> shaft. I can give this thing a shaft. But sorry, sorry. I, I got a little carried away by my stupid fucking joke. Anyways, let's put this here. Put this here. Create nine andesite alloy. Is there a reason why you have to have no hair in the army? Uh, I'd assume it's so that your head can fit inside a helmet, but I'm not 100% sure. Part of me thinks it might have just been because they want everyone to look, you know, rather uniform. And it's easy to make people look uniform when no one has any hair. There we go. So, using that, I have created a pair of andesite casings. And using that, I'm going to... I can't see my press. Yeah, and I, I guess I guess it's also for like a sense of discipline. Like, you will spend a lot, of, a lot less time tending to your hair if you don't have any hair to tend to. That's sort of one of the most like no-brainer statements that has ever left my mouth. But uh, yeah, you 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 surprisingly you'll care a lot less about hair that you do not have. Shocking, I know. I put a crank here, and do women have to join the army or just men? So in Singapore, it's a conscript army, so every able able-bodied son joins the army. But uh, women are allowed to sign on, and when a woman signs on, she's not added to the same companies as men are. I'd assume for the you know, general reasons like you don't want people fucking in the army. <laughs> that, that, that's that's kind of kind of kind of a logical assumption. And we uh, all all the women who joined the Singapore army, I believe they go to Pegasus Company. Uh, Pegasus Company is 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 where is where the women serve. I believe it used to be Whiskey Company, like Whiskey Co. But it was changed a while before I joined the army. Anyways. Uh, yeah, whiskey. Uh, sorry, sorry. Pegas Pegasus Company is where all the women are, and it was actually part of our briefing. Like, if we if we are walking past members of Pegasus Company, we are not to we are not to stare, we are not to whistle, we are not to catcall, and if we do any of those things, uh, our, our warrant officer is going to quote fucking kill us. Oh, why'd you get kicked out? I fucked a woman. You know what? Honestly, you're not allowed to have sex in the army. That means no men, no women. I don't. Hey, Doctor Quantum, welcome to the stream. You just caught me at an awkward moment. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I don't think you're allowed to have sex in the army. Like, no men, no women, not even with yourself. Yeah, it is. It is quite an early stream where I am. It's actually seven in the morning. So, Elfie's Elfie's decision to, that I should play the world in hardcore got the previous world deleted. That was kind of funny, but I, I sort of. If you if you go back to the end of the previous stream, you can see me get my ass handed to me by a random zombie in armor. That was a uh, that was that was pretty funny. But yeah, I'm just talking about the Singapore army and how uh, you can't bang while you're in the army. But yeah, that, that's that 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 that's a, that was a whole thing. And yeah. So what I'm currently doing is I'm currently mining up this tree. I uh, don't have enough stuff to mine it up completely, but I do have enough stuff to get a couple more dark oak saplings, which are good, uh, because dark oak saplings are pretty much what my base is going to be built out of. Oh, sorry, not dark oak saplings. I meant dark oak wood. So, let me break through here. Let me just come right through here. Dump. Oh, hey, I have enough to plant another one. You know what? Hold on. Change of plans. That's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to start this off. No, I, I say start this off. I've been streaming for about an hour and, a, and some change at the moment. I said I was only going to go to seven, but I lied because I'm a, I'm a filthy little liar man who enjoys a, who enjoys lying to his followers. And yeah, so Singapore Army, pretty fun, pretty cool. It's uh, you get sworn at a lot. People people cuss like crazy in the army. And I, I know that's kind of rich coming from someone who cusses like crazy while he streams, but this this is like next level shit. Okay, so what I was going for next was a harvester. So to create a mechanical harvester, I need two, and if I want five of them, I'm going to need one, two, I'm going to need ten iron sheets, which is half of that. Okay, so 
uh, best best technique I've seen is just dump them in there and then spam clicking and I get the bonk achievement which I just need to get I just need to do this about 10 more times and I will end up having a bunch of bonked items and then using these bonked items I can create mechanical harvesters simple as now if you're asking why my hunger is going down so quickly it's because this hand cranks real pain in my ass it uh it effectively turns hunger into uh stress su stress stress units which is which would be great if I was like a fucking hamster running on a tread wheel tread wheel did I just say tread wheel I uh yeah yeah English greatest language in the world when you can speak it properly anyways let me, uh, get that and next up I need 20 pieces of andesite alloy so honestly not all that difficult it's just uh painful to craft that many so let's go this let's go this this bunch of bunch of andesite wait a second hold on I need more than that actually I need I want to say I'm just going to make like this many andesite alloy, which is going to be... Oh wait, I had a bunch, had a bunch up here. Okay, so if I want five of these, I'm going to need to place down five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to splurge a little and make a, make a huge investment, a huge financial investment. I'll make myself a stone axe. Crazy, I know. Like, and then we'll go. Okay. Then once we've done that, we'll go through here, break these off, and I will get enough of these. Make five mechanical harvesters. That's pretty goat. And then next up, I need windmill bearing. So if I remember correctly, it's bunch of stuff I have in my inventory. Next up after this is sail frames. So if I just look up S-A-I-L, fail frames, okay I need I need wool and I could kill a bunch of spiders or I uh I could I could not do that and I could instead go go harvest harvest a couple of sheep. Harvest a couple of sheep. That that sounds that sounds wrong. I do, don't don't really harvest sheep. Also, where'd I put my bed? I was wondering there was like a red bed in this chest. I put it down like outside and sleep in it and then just not pick it up. I don't don't really know what I did with my bed. Uh God damn, what did I do? Did I leave it in the mine? I I wouldn't have, would I? Am I some kind of idiot? Well, I mean don't answer that question. We we both know I am some kind of idiot, but oh wait, hold on. White wool. I promise that one day you will be replaced. That's uh one day there's going to be white wool in those blocks and no one will ever know that I cheated a little bit. Oh boy, my neck hurts. I can hear roosters crowing crowing and crowing and crowing outside. That's uh All right, we have jungle fowl kind of close to where I live. By the way, so that if that's those those are roosters that you might be hearing little little snatches of in in the stream. So, you can go fuck yourself. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to run past you. I want nothing to do with you. Please explode somewhere that I do not live. I don't want to see creeper holes every time I wake up in the morning. And let's just, let's just go after these sheep. Let's go after these sheep that are here. Shear them real quick. And then once we shear them, once we shear them, we can get some... You can take their wool, and I can replace my flooring, finally. And then, yeah, I can start heading back to base. So, seven white wool is decent, but I don't, oh, I don't know if that's enough to make sail frames. Uh, I tell you what, there's a bunch of sheep here. I could stay around and just wait for them to regrow. I could run to the other patch of sheep and just take their wool. Which I'm probably going to do because efficiency. A little bit of 
zombie flesh here. And you know what? While I'm here, I might as well run to the run to the nether portal and see if there's a see if there's anything worth owning in it. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll get another golden apple. Maybe I'll get another god apple. Yeah, you know, we can we can reform the church of the golden apple. I remember when we were called the Church of the Golden Apple instead of the Hollow Hearts. I don't know why I'm listing myself as one of my fans, but yeah. That's... Maybe, okay, if you're conceited enough, you could maybe pull that. Ooh, hey. Good, good, good looking, good looking area. What's this? Ayo, 25 iron nuggets, 1 chainmail, 2 chainmail, 3 chainmail, 4 chainmail horse armor. I, did I, I just pronounced the horse in a really weird way. I said, like, horse armor. That's... Not intentional. Uh, okay, and I'm also going to grab some of this magma. Yeah, free range wool, free range sheep, completely ethically produced. Okay, so magma is useful because I can use it and, well, I can bulk wash it into obsidian, but I can also use it to power an encased fan. So I can use it to basically create two things that will generate stress units for me, which is pretty, pretty goaded. If I do say so myself, pretty goaded with the sauce. That phrase is going to grow old very quickly. There will come a time, probably not long from now, at which point hearing the words goaded with the sauce are going to make me cringe. But that time isn't today. So let me just run, run back to where the other sheep are. And if I can make eight windmill blocks, or if I can make... Yeah, if I can make just like eight sail frames... That'd be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's run down the mountainside. Take half a heart of damage. Let's take one heart of damage. Let's take another heart of damage. I'm not really careful when I do this stuff, am I? Terribly, terribly uncareful. Uncaringly uncareful, even. Just run down a mountainside with, like, gleeful abandon. With gay abandon. Which is... Just... <laughs> what happened to your hardcore hearts? Oh, uh, I lost them because I lost the world. I died. I died. And then I, I, I restarted a new world. Pretty much, uh, pretty much the second I died, honestly. I bounced back very quickly. But yeah, they are, they're gone. I'm in a new world. I've moved locations, like literally through universes. And uh, yeah, classic Hollow Heart. Yep, dying, dying super early into a series. What could be more Hollow Heart than that? Okay, mechanical harvesters, windmill bearing, I still need glue. And to get glue, I'm going to need slime balls. And to get slime balls, I need to either find a swamp or create lime dye. And to create lime dye, I need uh, white dye in conjunction with green dye, which can come from cactus. Honestly, I should have. The cactus that I planted should have grown by... Yes! Yes, okay, that, that's, that's the good shit. That is the good shit. It, plant, it grew right on time. So, honestly, Create and Mine Colonies are two mods that work in amazing synergy with each other. Because, I mean, they work, they work together like, like a pair of fucking twins, you know. Anyways, let me uh, put this cactus in here. And while I'm doing that, let me actually also add like five pieces of zinc so that the, the one piece of coal isn't completely wasted. So that goes in there. Next up, I need to make myself... Oh wait, you know what? I have I have a bone already. I can make myself this, I can combine these, I can create lime dye, and that can be used to create super glue. Now, the next things I need for super glue are the dough. And to create dough, I need wheat flour, and to create wheat flour, I need to get actual wheat. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a pain, but I will craft all of the bones into bone meal. Uh I will make myself a stone hoe. And then I will go down to where the mine, or down to where, down to where the water is. Basically bone meal up a bunch of this stuff, but also before that, 
I do need a millstone, which is just a cogwheel, an andesite casing, and any stone. Okay, so I'll just take a... What is which of these is classified as a stone? I guess I guess I'll take one piece of tough. I will create I will create myself a new piece of andesite alloy. Uh, shear. Take this. Press Q on an andesite alloy. Apply it to this. Break this, and we now have a we now have two of the things we need to make a millstone. And next up, I need cogwheels. That's just two shafts. And I believe, I want to say that any plank, any one plank will do, but just, just in case, let me uh, do this, one cogwheel, and let me do this, two cogwheels. So, pretty, pretty standard issue. First off, we're going to want to upgrade the wheat. We're going to want to upgrade our wheat production so that we can, I guess, produce, produce a little bit of wheat. I got the CD place achievement. I got the bone meal. Let me uh, let me plant this again because I'm going to probably need at least two of these to get two slime balls. And then I'll plant that there. Okay, so that's that's first step done. Next step is to find a place I can put down the millstone. Honestly, wait, hold on. I haven't even crafted the millstone yet. A silly, a silly notion. Okay, craft the millstone, and I'll do millstone. That and I'm also going to break the crank off of the uh, mechanical press. So I'll put down the millstone, put down the cogwheel connecting to it, put down the hand crank on top of that, throw two wheat into this thing. Hello, hello, Riderson. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I am doing a little bit of glue production. So I've got the achievement embrace, embrace the grind. That means I made one thing. Next up, two pieces of wheat flour. Lovely. And I take these two pieces of wheat flour, fill a water bucket, combine the water bucket with wheat flour to create dough, uh, pick up another water bucket, repeat this again. Actually, you know what? I'll keep, I'll keep, up, the, I'll keep up the tooltip menu. Two pieces of lime dye, two pieces of dough. That creates two slime balls. Next thing I need is iron. I need a single iron nugget, which I have found. And I will also need a single iron plate to be fed into a press. Yes, yes, Riderson. Dot dot dot. Are you wondering? Are you wondering about the intricacies of the create mod? Are you Are you waiting for me to ask you a specific question? Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is kind of a. It is kind of a mod. So it is. It is. It is the mod of all mods. Slime ball. Two slime balls. Iron sheet. Iron nuggets. That creates super glue. Now, we have most of the items we need. We have a windmill bearing, mechanical harvesters, white sails, super glue, and I am also going to need a couple of blocks to, to build all of this off of. So, first off, let's make four. My brain just broke, having it all explained to you. Uh, well, if you if you frequently play with the create mod, you can you can get used to that happening. It happens, it happens on a daily basis. I wouldn't even say daily. It happens on an hourly basis. Oh wait, what am I? Th what am I thinking? I almost went through all of this without having created myself a portable storage interface. So let's do portable. Okay, so there's a portable fluid interface and portable storage interface. So what we want is to make. Huh. Hold on. So one craft will make two. Oh, one. Sorry, one craft will make one. That's actually my bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Oh wait, hold on, I have one andesite casing left, so... I'll take an andesite alloy. I will take a dark oak log. So heads up, this isn't even as complicated as create gets. So I'll apply this, that becomes an andesite casing. I now have two andesite casings. Using the two andesite casings, I can pair them with the shoots I have, or the shoots I will have eventually. So let's take two iron ingots. One of these will remain an iron ingot, two of these will be pressed into iron sheets which are the processed version of iron ingots. Riderson, strap yourself in. This is this is going to get very complicated. Gradual it's going to gradually get complicated. I say I say as if it's not complicated now. So, add this, we create the shoots, combine the shoots with the portable storage interfaces to create uh 
Oh, uh, sorry, to combine the shoots with the andesite casings to create portable storage interfaces. Now, what portable storage interfaces do? This is something I do where I speak very quickly, and it's because it's because my brain really, my brain. I'm not saying I'm intelligent. I'm just saying my brain runs very fast. And on account of the fact that my brain runs very fast, sometimes my mouth has trouble keeping up, and I sort of sort of do this stutter, sort of do this like little rap god stutter. But anyways, yeah, I sound I sound I sound very quick. I sound very fast when I'm doing this, but it's actually, it's actually, uh, it's actually, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. I sort of I sort of lose cogency as time goes on. Anyways, so what I, what I, first off, what I need to do is slow down. I'm speaking too quickly, for I I believe I believe even the recording software to pick up. Next rap god. Uh, I, I guess, I guess I, I could go, I feel like if I, if I had something pre-planned, I could go even quicker, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, the next, the next thing I have planned is to quarry out a bit, well, space, space out a bit of an area, and then what I need to do is I need to put down this, uh, mechanical bearing at the middle of where I want my farm to be constructed. And then using the mechanical bearing, I need to attach a bunch of things to the mechanical bearing, each of which will have a different impact on what is a moving contraption. Now, Create does these lovely things called moving contraptions, and they are... I don't know if you've ever played with the Create God, Ryderson, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fucking fun. But it's fun the way that, like, doing a, a tr like a, like an escape room is fun. And sometimes the escape room is, 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 a. Uh, Sometimes the escape room kills you. And I say this because a lot of create contraptions, especially the ones that involve mechanical saws, can in fact kill you if you get hit by them. But honestly, the death messages are kind of funny, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, so I'll create a moving contraption, and that'll, using that moving contraption, I will farm a bunch of wheat. So that's why we're mining out a bunch of these blocks. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to give myself like a... Actually, you know what? I got a couple of acacia logs from that. Why don't I make myself a chest or something? I just do... Let's do four of these. Let's make two acacia... Uh, two, two conventional chests. Actually, so this is just redstone on crack. It is... It's... It's redstone on crack, but it, but it had a crack baby love child with with like a satisfactory if that makes any sense actually yeah now that create has trains it is it is kind of like satisfactory okay so let's do this let's put a couple of chests here let's put a hopper feeding into this let's put a portable storage interface here and oh whoops i did that the wrong way there are trains yeah there are trains in this pack it's a uh, it's 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 a whole thing, honestly. Okay, so I I, I realize that I do have shoot that way. I'm gonna need to shift place it that way. I'm getting this mod now. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely get create. It's it's fucking amazing. So portable storage interfaces require a block of space between them. That was that was a misplaced block. Okay, so from there, this is what we have. To... Okay, so I need to. Well, okay, mechanical harvesters. Pretty much need to go two, four, five, and then oh, okay. So this is this is pretty much where the windmill bearing will need to go if I want to create a five by five. And yeah, the trains are really fun, but heads up, the trains can also kill you. Like if you get hit by a train moving fast enough, you will you will get one shot. It's 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 not even funny how much damage those fucking things can inflict. Also, not just not just one shot. The knockback from a from a train at full speed is like forty blocks. So even if you survive getting hit by the train because you're wearing like full prot four, you might not survive going off a cliff. There's the, is the whole mod pack name called Create Above and Beyond? Uh, no, Create the mod is called Create, and Create Above and Beyond is like one of the most advanced packs out there using Create. This is honestly a custom mod pack that I threw together. It features uh well it features Create mainly. The next mod it features is Mine Colonies, and the third mod it features is a uh, is a uh, epic epic knights uh, armor and weapons, and there's also a couple of other mods. Like uh, I have nature's compass. I have feed the beast chunks for for like mapping, and uh, yeah, there's 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 basically a bunch of mods that I use for for slice of life convenience. I guess 
it's not really slice of life, but it's it's four, five. Quality of life is what I wanted to say. Sorry. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go. And then actually this is the this is the neutral position. So I'm going to place cobblestone on all of these blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go mechanical harvesters. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go windmill bearing here. And then we're going to break all of these. They're not so they're not like interconnected blocks. And then next thing we're going to do is I'm going to find a block that looks good sitting on top of a windmill bearing. It is probably going to be stripped dark oak, but I'm not not 100% convinced before I'll before I do the block placement. So let me just just place down the dark oak. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that that actually works quite well. That actually works splendidly. So uh, right click here with super glue, connect all of these blocks. And then if I right click on the windmill bearing, hold on, with an empty hand. Oh, right, unable to assemble it does not include enough sail like blocks. Okay, that's honestly not a huge problem. I should have the sail frames in my inventory right now. So can you eat the glue? You unfortunately cannot, but it would be pretty funny if you could eat the glue. And then after you ate it, you can't eat any more food, so you just starve to death. Well, I mean, well, I mean that's kind of morbid funny, not haha -ha funny, but it's 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 um you know honestly yeah like that kind of moribund comedy is exactly the kind of the kind of shit I like like how in Ark if you eat polymer you will you'll fucking die. Okay, so let's see. This is the mechanical harvester. If I right click, it begins to move, and the mechanical bearings begin to begin to spin okay so when this sorry i mean when this begins to move it will it'll uh i guess i guess like it, it begins it begins rotating and when it begins rotating it begins to pick up crops so that is the first step next step is to replace oh hey you've been you've been timed out for saying something in all caps uh nightbot does not like that nightbot is my auto moderator he's 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 very nice but sometimes he gets a little overzealous so, yep. Don't worry, don't worry. Everyone, everyone does it. Even, even like, even like people I know IRL come into the chat and sometimes get night botted. <laughs> that's uh. Just let me say that in lowercase. Yep. So replace that with a water source. Did that just move? Oh yes, it did. Yes, it did. So create features a bunch of moving contraptions. So this is an up. This is a windmill bearing. And when you update a windmill bearing, and there are enough white and there are enough sail-like blocks attached to it, so white sails, sail frames, wool, it will begin to spin depending on how powerful uh, the sails are. So these these uh, mechanical harvesters, as they go over crops that are full grown, they will harvest them. And let me let me actually show you a little demonstration, okay? Because they are moving objects, they are receiving RF power or they're receiving stress. So if one of them detects a piece of wheat like this, that is fully grown, and then I update the bearing, it will go over them, mine them, and replant them. And then, here's, here's an even cooler thing, right? If I stop the system, it will... Oh, wait, hold on. I just, I just realized I need to do something else. I need to put a chest on one of these blocks, because the chest actually functions as a sort of overflow system as like an overflow guard. So it's a, uh, let me just make this chest real quick and I'll put it on top of the machine so that, so that you can see. Although, you know what, if I wanted to make a smaller, like a, a more like logical footprint, what I would do is I would put it, like I'd super glue it to here and then I would do this and then shift first position selected, uh, Click again to confirm. There we go. So this is a single machine. Wait, could you kill yourself with some of the stuff? You, could you make an automatic mob farm? Yes, you absolutely could. You could make a mob farm that is just basically four spokes, like the spokes in the middle of a wheel. 
each of which has a mechanical saw on it, and then it just spins around like a fucking death propeller, killing every single hostile mob that it comes in contact with. So, let me show you, let me give you the demonstration, okay? So this is a full-grown piece of wheat. Let's pretend it grew by itself. This is a farm. The mechanical harvesters harvest anything at this level. The sail frames power the spinning. The portable storage interface takes things out of the inventory and puts it into this other portable storage interface, which feeds it into the hopper, which feeds it into this large chest. Now, if I just hit right-click to update the bearing, it begins to spin, mines them, and I get the achievement, I get the advancement, drive-by exchange. Now what that does is it spins, and it will continue spinning as long as it can, and then if you will take notice of this chest, there's now a piece of wheat and a piece of... Uh, there's now a single piece of wheat and a single seed in that chest. So what that effectively means is I have automated wheat production. Now, here's the thing. Create is a very big mod. So if I want to make infinite bread, I would need to... First, I would need to have this step done. So that, that step's already been done. I've got automated wheat production. Next thing I need to do is I would need to automate uh, feeding all of that wheat into a millstone, which would mill that into flour. Or more specifically, wheat flour. And then it will feed that, put that onto a conveyor belt, which will power wash it so it becomes wet and it becomes dough. And then after that happens, after the dough is made, it will um, it will need me to bake it using a, uh, a, a mass smelting system. So that's basically just blowing hot air over it. And then once 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 that is done, I will create bread automatically. But here's the thing: if you're going to go through all that effort, you should just take the wheat from here, feed it into a deployer, and have it feed it to a bunch of cows, and then have the cows breed to produce, you know, children, and then kill the children, or kill the kill the cows that are adults, and then, you know, enjoy enjoy having a cooked beef farm. I personally think that I personally think that's a lot more sensible, but I mean, you could you could you could do you could go for the things that are more fun to have in your world, you know. Anyways, this is this is the super bare bones wheat farm. This is like the barest of bare bones wheat farms that like has ever bare bones. Anyways, so let's 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 begin to fill in the outline. So first, I'm gonna need my hoe, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then one, two. And then this is also one, two, three, four. And then, hold on. Actually, yeah, this makes this makes more sense. This makes a lot more sense to just you know uh, work work in negatives. So next up, I'm gonna need to break a couple of these dirt blocks to hopefully give me a little a couple more seeds. And then I can pretty much have the farm running constantly, like 24/7, as long as I'm in the world. The farm should continue spinning and spinning and spinning. So the advantage of that is that it's going to store up a tremendous amount of food for me, or food from with food with which I can feed my villagers, with my mine colony villagers. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. There we go. Could you make infinite power? Uh, yeah, you can basically pull infinite power, infinite power from the winds because you know windmills. You could make infinite power by having a farm that produces. You could basically turn wind power into a rotational force, and then you could turn that rotational force into, uh, into, I guess chemical energy because you could use it to power a kelp farm you could basically there's basically a, a ton of ways that you can create infinite power but not it's not infinite power you can like make and hold on to it's infinite power that you make and then if you don't use that infinite power for something else you're it's sort of just being wasted you know it uh you can also use i guess water wheels to create infinite power but yeah, there's a there's a whole there's a whole laundry list of things you can do with create. It's one of unironically, I think it's one of the most versatile Minecraft mods that has ever been made. And it's and it's done so many things that have been done before so much better. 
if you have been playing Minecraft for a very long time or watching the Yogs cast uh, for a long time, you'll you'll know about Ugo Craft or Yugo Craft from the Japanese like Ugo Kanai, like to move. And you'll know that like compared to Ugo Craft, which was the first Minecraft mod that added like movable blocks, this is a tremendous step up. It is it is like crazy how far the game has come. Anyways, it's a uh, it's it's actual insanity what you can do with this and like better than wolves added gears to Minecraft a long time ago, right? The gears the gear system in this is so much better than what was in better than wolves. Uh it's it's just create is what I feel like Minecraft could have been. Doesn't mean I like it more than I like vanilla Minecraft. It just means that it is an amazing mod. Anyways, this thing is fully fully realized. So if I just click update bearing, this is going to begin to slowly spin. And I'm going to plant wheat seeds in it. So the mechanical harvesters are not dangerous to get in front of, but most others like spinning like mechanical saws, those things are dangerous if you get in front of them. I'm talking like four hearts per hit. Dangerous. Yeah, the modding community really is insane. Anyways, uh, in case in case you were interested in seeing this thing in action, imagine this was natural wheat, and then this was fully grown. Whenever the machine comes around to wheat, or I guess I guess something anything like worth picking up, it works with all crops, by the way. So I could do this with carrots, potatoes. Uh, I could even do it with modded crops like Pam's Harvest Craft chilies if I had that in the pack. Okay, so as you see, it spins. It uh it mines up that wheat or that you know that wheat that was was formerly full holds it inside its internal inventory drives over to where it can connect and then puts all of it in here pumpkins yes but here's the thing for a pumpkin farm you need a slightly modified setup so let me explain okay uh a mechanical harvester just harvests the full the full version so it will harvest pumpkin stems and wait no is, is that correct Okay, actually, I think it only harvests the block that is produced. So pumpkin stems, you don't need to worry about your pumpkin stems being harvested. You are... Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you need to worry about the a create, a create rotary farm harvesting pumpkin stems. What you would need to worry about is... Uh, actually, you know what? It shouldn't, shouldn't be an issue, honestly. Just stand up here. I'm just, I'm just going to stand up here and watch this farm roll for a little bit. But yes, you can, you can do pumpkins, melons... Uh, carrots, potatoes, beetroots, uh, ev pretty much everything, honestly. This is super versatile. And here's the thing, it's not even limited to farms of this size. If I wanted to build this farm, like 25 blocks long, in a giant 25 block circle, and I wanted to plant wheat in like every single one of those, and just have the arms spin around very, very slowly, with a bunch of windmills, with a bunch of windmill like bearings, it would do that, it would do that for me. Now let me strike up a battle pose and then look outwards menacingly while my while my farm slowly spins around and produces oh it's going to bump me into this tree it's going to bump me into this tree and I'm going to get pushed off oh I thought it would be a farm like that I'd probably do it in a clock design ooh that is actually very in that is a very cool idea cuz I mean it does rotate kind of like the hands of a clock and if you built them if you built them at an angle it would always sort of look like a look look like the time on a clock that's a pretty pretty nifty idea anyways now that i've done the first farm sorry let me just pop out a lozenge for my throat and uh yeah now that we have this farm going i can actually do a pretty much see already got four wheat i'll throw in another one but i could make a very similar farm to this if I did basically the same principles, like windmill bearing, block here, and this here, except I would, to make a tree farm, I would use it to make a tree farm. And to do that, I would actually need deployers to replant the saplings. So if I look up deploy, I can see that I need electron tubes and brass hands, both of which are things you get from the nether. If you want brass, you need to create brass ingots, which come from alloying. So you need a blaze burner, which is a cage with a single blaze trapped inside it, a copper ingot and a zinc ingot to create brass. Also, you need a mixer, a mechanical mixer and a basin. So, a lot of work goes into creating deployers. 
So tree farms are not like super easy. It's not like something I can do overnight. But uh, but yeah, tree farms are probably the next thing on the agenda, honestly. Which is crazy because you know usually tree farms are something you do like like eight months into a Minecraft world. If I had to give it a timeline. And the reason I say eight months is because it usually takes it usually I need to play with a Minecraft world for about eight months before I make a log farm. I don't know if this mod was in High Pixel Skyblock. That community is already insane, and I couldn't imagine what they would manage to do. Yeah, yeah, High Pixel Skyblock fans are the fucking fucking crazy, in a good way. And I think they'd be able to get some crazy shit done. Anyways, this is this is a, this is a farm that magically makes me wheat. Uh, next up, I could I could use these mechanical harvesters. Honestly, I could. Oh. Hey, thank you for that follow, Ryderson. I'm uh, uh welcome welcome to the Hollow Hearts. That's what I call the fan base. Even though it's not really a name that's caught on yet. And I could do this I could do these similar rotary farms with almost anything you could imagine. Like imagine if this was flipped upside down so it was the sails below and these on top, except they were drills. And then I used them to mine a bunch of pointed dripstone and basically farm that stuff up. Because you can make drills. You can make a mechanical drill. And here's here's the, the coolest part. You can attach these like front of a train. And just like drive a train through a mountainside. Have the train do a bunch of things. So first off, you'll have it place rails below itself. Next off, you'll have to place blocks. Or first before that, you'll place all blocks so that there are always blocks below it. And then you'll have to place rails, and then you just drive in a straight line. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Actually amazing. So chainmail horse armor, almost no use. Mm, mechanical drills. A lot of a use. But uh I honestly don't know what the next thing to do should be. I guess I guess logically, the next thing to do would be to start on mine colonies, which entails me grabbing my town hall out of one of these blocks that I put it in. I don't I don't remember where my town hall is. Where's my town hall? Uh, okay, if I was a town... Is, is, it, is it in the chest upstairs? Is it here? Yes, yes it is. Town hall and a build tool. So, this is a whole different mod from Create, but it's also a very... It's a very good mod. It's, um... At least this is... This is a, this is a very good mod. It works, it works nicely with me. So, I need to find a very big flat area. And the reason I need to find the, this very big flat area, a town hall seems like something you don't want to misplace. Yeah, let me just let me just take this building out my fucking pocket. That, that sounds like hyperbole, but it is it is actually it it is actually kind of like a building sitting in my pocket. And uh, yeah, let me just quickly grab these. Now, for the town hall, I need a I need what is basically. A 4x4 four four chunk of flat land. Now, that's going to be difficult to do. On account of the fact that I am living in what seems to be a mountain valley. If I look at the minimap, yeah, this this seems to be a pretty much mountainous area. But, honestly, if I look up here, there's a lot more flat land available. Like, this is Y63, Y163. And then if I mouse over the whole place, some of this gets a little higher, like the parts where there are trees. But the rest of this remains Y160 something. So, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, industrial area lining the river, grand staircase that leads up to where I want the place to be, and then we go big. I'm talking like town hall, barracks leading into it. Uh, in addition to the barracks, we have, in, in, in conjunction with the barracks, we will have a bunch of like uh it's it's hard to explain we'll have we'll have the barracks and we will have guard towers posted out the front so nothing is getting in without my say so nothing gets in or out the town now hear me out one word train hear me out train tracks are incredibly expensive they need well okay they need a slab of any kind and you need to either insert zinc or iron into them and then press that's that's three stages in a mechanical press to make a single train track. And to create the train casing, I need I need sturdy sheets and brass casings. Sturdy sheets come from taking powdered obsidian, 
spouting lava into them and then pressing them multiple times. To create the train station, I need a train casing. That's, um... To create the train controls, I need a bunch of stuff, including precision mechanisms, which come from gold plates, having cogwheels, large cogwheels, and iron nuggets embedded them into them four times, or you know, repeating the sequence five times. Uh, and then, that's not even talking about all the all the car components on me. So if I just look up car, right, there's, um, mm, hold on, caramel glazed berries, caramelized marshmallows on a stick. I need marshmallows on a stick. To get marshmallows on a stick, I need one stick and two marshmallows. To create a marshmallow, I need sugar, egg, slime balls, and a mixing machine. Okay, this is... Auto iron farm, then that problem is done. And obsidian might be a bit tight, but you can still you can get and you can get that in gold farms. Actually, yeah. Honestly, get, getting to work on an iron farm might be the most sensible thing to do even before I begin town hall work. So getting getting to work getting work on getting to work on an iron farm is actually not that difficult. What I really just need to do is uh oh. That's my that's my phone alarm. I was supposed to have fallen asleep and woken up by that point. So what I need to do is I need to travel to the ocean, and then I need to travel back. Because I need kelp. And the reason I need kelp is to create conveyor belts. Good idea, sorry. Sometimes I can't spell. No, no, don't worry about it. Like, it's it's honestly no issue. And, uh, yeah, let me just take this stuff out. Uh, put this into a boat. And then... Okay. So we have two alternatives. We can take the west pathway, which seems to go down, or we can take the east pathway, which seems to go up. Now, normal Minecraft oceans are about Y62, Y63, Y64, so I'm going to assume that the logical thing to do is follow this ocean down. And uh, logically, the ocean being a big pool of water would be down, so I have quite a bit of traveling to do. And honestly, I might find an even better location to set up compared to just that plateau. But uh, if um, if I don't, I'm just gonna set a marker here that says plateau. Accept, and then I'll get on swimming. But yeah, currently at Y115. This is basically whitewater rafting, except except in Minecraft. Whitewater rafting is one. Of of those really dangerous spots I'd like to do one day. Maybe when I've lived more, more much and I and like dying doing a fun spot is is less of a is less of a tragedy. It's less of a moment where I think to myself, oh I've done I could have done so much more with my life. Like if 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 I mess up when I'm whitewater rafting and I am like drowning in an undercurrent and I feel like my lungs filling with water. The last emotion I feel won't be an emotion of like, ah, oh, I could have done so much more with my life. It'll be a feeling of, I have done so much with my life. I'm content. Everyone dies. Like, why not die doing an extreme sport? That's cool as fuck. I would be to a skydiving person. You know what? Skydiving is also on the list. Except, here's the thing. I don't have a lot of money. Uh, and skydiving is rather expensive. Even in Singapore, I've heard like, I've heard like 1,500 a jump. Like, even... Like, even money. It's like 1500 a jump. There are truly places where I could do it for a lot cheaper. But okay, here's the thing. In Singapore, you can't, can't skydive here. You need to go to, I guess, like one of the adjacent territories where there is enough space to skydive, and you would be paying for that jump. But yeah, it, 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 it is rather expensive here. I know that it goes down to like 760. Like if I, if I somehow found myself in the middle of fucking Arizona, I could probably jump. For, I could probably base jump for sixty. Uh, sorry, I could. I could probably do like a standard like parachute jump for seven sixty. But Singapore, you'd you'd not be looking at anything below one thousand five. Oh wait! Oh my god! Oh wow! What what is updating? It's making these like cool river currents. It, wow! It goes to two hundred twenty nine on weekdays. Holy shit! Where do you live? I'm I'm. I'm guessing if you live in Europe, that's like your, your, that's like euros and actually no, the Singapore the Singapore 
completely all that fob behind is, oh, hey, Taiga Biome. You know what? I'm going to mine up a couple of mossy cobblestone. I remember a time when mossy cobblestone was one of the rarest fucking blocks in the game. It exclusively came from, like, dungeons. Like, it was not even, it didn't even spawn in the world. It was literally just a flex. Like, if you can build a house from mossy cobblestone, you have cleared, like, five, five dungeons. Hmm. That was a good shit. Also, cookies used to be one of the rhythms in Minecraft. Because cocoa beans didn't, like, spawn on the sides of trees. They spawned... Well, they, they, they spawned... Like, like, stuck. Well, they spawn in dungeon chests, like, also. And you can play a Minecraft world from, like, beginning to end without finding a single spawner. Honestly. Oh, speaking of create lets you move spawners if you're, if you're in, into that. Like, if you build a train contraption beneath a spawner and pick it up with a wrench, you can, uh... You can basically... Get. Skydiving instructor can make twenty thousand to forty thousand dollars. Huh. That is a good plan. But counterpoint though, if your school teacher, oh sorry, if okay, school teacher is sort of a dangerous profession now. If if you are an office worker and you have a bad day at work, your boss shouts at you. If you are a skydiving instructor and you have a bad day at work, it's going to be your last day at work. Hell, it's going to be your last live. Uh, and, and I get that, like, sky, like, like, parachutes don't fail that often. It's kind of like a, like a movie trope that's been hyped up a little. But the more times you jump, the higher the risk gets, you know? Last day at work, first day in prison. Oh, not even that. If, if, if your parachute fails when you are, are doing a tandem jump with another person, you're both dead. Which seems like the start of a very funny sitcom about ghosts. Like, imagine a couple of ghosts haunting a fucking skydiving instruction school. I could imagine that being pretty funny. But I don't think I'm that good of a writer. So I don't know how good I would be able to write this on, like, a as, like, a TV show. That would be great. Yeah, you'd have, like, your sort of gung-ho, like, skydiving teacher who was like, yeah, let's, let's... Who was like a super man's man. And you have this nerdy guy who's probably an office worker, probably an accountant or something. And he wanted to do something cool like once in his life. And it resulted in him dying. So there are a couple of ghosts that just haunt the skydiving school. Hello, hello. Hey, DJ Retro. Welcome, welcome back. We are, um, I'm doing a create series. But yeah, it's like the, uh, okay, so, so, so two guys die in a skydiving accident. And one of them's the skydiving instructor, one of them's the guy he was taking on the tandem jump. And they just haunt the skydiving school as a couple of, like, poltergeists, and they move shit around. And what they're trying to do is trying to, like, look, make the place look super haunted, and get pe people to stop doing skydiving. But it doesn't work. You see, like, this interesting cast of characters just keeps coming through the rotating doors, and they keep like, yeah, let's, let's, let's go skydive, sure. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that was a very huge fall. Anyways, yeah, they're all like, yeah, what what, what bad could come of, like, skydiving? And then if you wanted, the cast could gradually expand with more dead people. As, as you realize, hey, this school is kind of negligent. People's parachutes keep failing. I think something... Hey, hello, Kristen. Or Christian. Uh, 50, 50, 15. Welcome to the stream. I am doing a modded series. This modded series consists of Create, one of my favorite mods of all time, one of the most versatile as well. Uh, it, it features it features create. It features mine colonies, so I'm building a colony. It uh it, it also has epic fight and medieval weapons. And I think those are the important ones. There's also like nature's compass, just just help me travel around a little easier. Sounds really cool. It is motherfucker oh, okay, okay. I was worried a skeleton shot my, my boat. Oh hey look at that zombie walking around with a fucking mace. Hey you know who else has a mace? This is genius. I have one too. Oh, hey, he gave me a piece of iron. That's useful. It's funny because we were about to go make an iron farm. It would be none of the. If we, it'd be funny if one of the parachutes was just a bag of school supplies. The zombie is badass. Actually, yeah, the zombies look pretty badass because Epic Fight overhauls like mob animations. 
And in addition to that, in addition to the mob animation overhaul, you also have um the weapons from uh epic medieval from like epic medieval mod. I'm not sure what I I'm not sure what it's really called. I just call it the epic medieval weapons mod. Anyways, yeah. Actually, it's not just the zombies. These skeletons over here look pretty badass as well. And if I swim close enough to them, they're going to start running at me using proper fucking sword techniques. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's 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 holding his mace through the hole in the front of his shield. That's fucking terrifying. This guy also has a great sword. He could like two hit me if I was not wearing armor. Oh, well, that was three hearts. That was three hearts and I have half an armor bar. These these guys are no joke. They have become way more dangerous, but fortunately, uh, my colonists can also become really dangerous if I give them good gear. But here's the thing, I don't have any colonists yet. But the attack is slow. Yeah, the greatsword is... The greatsword... Look, look, I'm gonna be honest, you'd better off picking up a fucking tree and swinging it at, something, at something's head. But hear me out, the medieval mod pack and a gun mod pack. That feels... Uh, okay. Okay, I feel like it could be kind of epic. If everyone in the in the server just sort of agreed, yeah, let's 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 use both. Okay. So like imagine like having a dagger in one hand or like a long sword in one hand and an assault rifle in the other. And then you just charge someone while dual wielding. That sounds that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy fun as well. But yeah, this 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 whole this whole pack is centered on like I guess like industrialization, that era of human history. But uh, yeah, oh wait, hold on. This is actually a rather nice flat area. Let me just mini. Let me just check my mini map. And that's oh yeah, that's I thought that was a flower forest. My bad. AK forty seven. Yeah, imagine imagine like imagine like having an M sixteen and then a bayonet on the front. Except the bayonet is a full sword, and if you get into close quarters on that, you just you just d disconnect it, and then yeah, you hold. Old sword, or the arming sword. Long sword in one hand, AK-47 on back, Glock in other hand. Yeah. Or except instead of like dual wielding Glocks, you have a you have a Glock knife. Which, yeah. Look, look. There's another motherfucker that wants to take a piece off my head. Look at him. Look at this guy. Fucking hole in shield, great sword. Fucking terrifying. Swimming on the swimming on the ocean floor. What is this? What are these? Shabby Crusader boots. Okay, hold on. This results in literally no change in my armor value, but I'm going to wear them because black boots are cool. The way his body felt, yeah. Uh, epic fight overhauls every, every animation. So like death animations, complete overhaul. Uh, combat animations also have a complete overhaul. I'll, I can show you if this place is peaceful. This place is generally peaceful. So you have your basic like normal Minecraft mode. And then if you press R, you can enter combat mode. Hold on. I should I should I should avoid him. So actually, hold on. You know what? You know, he's not actually that tough. So I can exit combat mode and just wail on him using this heavy ass mace. And did he drop anything cool? He dropped a rusted chainmail armor, which I'm going to replace my leather chest plate with. But yeah, the boots, the boots are pretty cool. Anyways, I press R and I enter combat mode. So I go from the standard Minecraft, like, one swing, no animation, like, almost no animation, too. Combat mode, where if I go shield up, it protects, like, my entire front side. And then, if I attack, it begins to chain them together. And then, if I hold left-click, it, it creates a power attack. Or, if, or it ends the combo on a power attack. Also, if I just take off the shield, I can, I can chain it into, like, longer power attacks. Hold on. I killed this guy. Wait, hold on. Let me, oh, wait, oh, let me just move out of this guy's way. Uh, whoops. Okay, that was, that was terribly executed. I was almost terribly executed by this fucking, yeah, this is really low durability. But. Also, you can do, you can do a bit of a forward dash if you want. And if you hit someone at the right time, you can stall them out of the attack. Which is pretty good. Yeah, too close. A little too close for comfort, actually. Let's, let's. Oh my god, this guy has, actually has a ranged weapon. Let's 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 leave him alone. Anyways. Yeah, this is this is this is good, but here's the thing. Okay. Any ability you can use, like every sword slash, every everything 
like like dual building like, the mobs can do them as well so you have skeletons who now spawn in armor that's much more protective the average the average mob is now effectively wearing an armor tier between leather and chainmail and they're now holding a weapon that can do damage like two hearts to you when you're in iron armor so if you want to use the epic fight if you want to fight things or if you want epic fight bear in mind it's going to make the game many times harder and uh you'd better be ready to throw the fuck down you were ready to to, to to grit your teeth hold your mace and and crack open some skulls honestly i might not even use the mace as my final weapon i have my mind damn you know a lot about it actually yeah i've been playing with the epic fight mod for a long time i uh recently actually dj retro how much time have i been playing it uh well i played with epic fight 1.6 version came out and uh, I played with the Wien version for quite a while with uh, uh, DJ Retro, who was here in the chat earlier. Retro was, a, Retro was a member of an SMP that I used to be part, a part of called SMP Tech Hans. Oh, I guess I'm still a part of SMP Tech Hans. It's just that we're not doing a season four at the moment. But yeah, season three was I designed the mod pack and I put in Epic Fight, and it was sort of a mistake because it made in this pack so fucking challenging like like random random wither skeletons could kill okay like one wither skeleton that caught you off guard could kill a full diamond player and your counter to, 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 to things like that in the world was to just use a use a pole arm like a long weapon like a spear and then try and combo him before he could before he could break your guard and then start comboing you to death because wither skeletons when you combine their wither with their stone sword and their sword abilities you reminded me when you said smp i just stopped playing on one because the server was ah uh, that's that's unfortunate i'm sorry but yeah wither okay I'll, 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 I'll phrase it like this if you're wearing basic diamond armor a wither skeleton could hit you could take you from a zero to death combo. Like except instead of instead of it being smash, it's a, it's your health bar. It could zero it could zero it could zero to death your health bar. I'd love to see someone play this mod pack and fight the warden. I tell you what, okay. The warden, if it follows the same logic as the iron golems, has become much more dangerous because it's become like the the warden is able to use okay, iron golems are now able to use power attacks. Like, full-on... What about the pigmen? Pigmen can use these as well. Piglins will spawn with golden weapons. And if you piss one of them off, you will be swarmed by a bunch of creatures that use sword techniques. It's like fucking Sword Art Online, when the enemies start using sword skills. Like those lizard men at, at floor 70-something. When they begin using sword skills, yeah. It's like that. Except even more fucking ter terrifying. Because... Because the Wither Skeletons would just, would just like, three hit you with a stone sword, and you could do nothing about it. You watch anime, that, that's really cool. I'm not a tremendous Sword Art fan, but I, 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 do, I, do know my, I do my, I do know my anime. So imagine this, right? You're fighting a Wither Skeleton. Actually, you can, you can dual wield weapons in this, or uh, you could, you could in the previous versions, or weapons that have the dual, the trait that lets you dual wield them. You can, you can swing them together, but. Imagine like a wither skeleton, you're, you're just in a fortress, a wither skeleton drops behind you, and because of the damage they do, their wither, their sword damage, and their sword skills, they just one, two, three tap you. And here's the thing, when you get hit by an attack that does damage, you get stunned, right? And when you're stunned, you are basically effective, you're effectively stuck there, taking hits, until the wither skeleton, like finishes his three hit combo at which point you'll have about you have about half a second to move or to like reposition at that point you're dead there's 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 really no there's really no counter to that except for like full prot four they they are too op and honestly i think it's every single mob that has the ability to wield a weapon instantly gets like five or six times more dangerous honestly like if if you gave me the choice between fighting 
five vanilla with the skeletons at once. Or one epic fight with a skeleton. I'd pick the five because at least I could like sort of run away from the five. I could use like spacing and distance and area control to keep them off me. There's a uh, mobs mobs can also run in this. It, they're not fast, but they can run. Is there anything else Epic Fight does to make the mod more difficult? Not really. It's it's really just like the stun times they add to weapons. So for example, if I mouse over a weapon, you can see you can still block them with blocks, right? Yes. A shield will still take care of you. But if you look at a weapon, you can see a bunch of values called impact. So there's the rusted mace has 1.4 impact. The uh wooden sword has one one impact. The axe has 1.5 impact. Impact is effectively how long it will stun you for. It's how much it will effectively do to your invisible poise stat. So 0 0.2 impact. It's basically how long you will be unable to move after being hit. But yeah, all I picture is a creeper running at you full speed. The creepers actually walk faster than this. I, I don't, I, you don't, oh, actually, hold on. There's a creeper over there. I wonder if I could walk over and show you. It's, uh, well, okay, I think it's underground, but there's there's a creeper over there, and it, it moves as fast as a player walking. Before this, like, you and a creeper were about the same speed. Oh, no, you were slightly faster than a creeper. Now, if I do this, and the creeper's five blocks away, and I just do this, it will continue to remain five blocks away. Epic Fight is... <sighs> Epic Fight is like Dark Souls. It really is like Dark Souls. It's like a... You guys have played Dark Souls 1. It's a bit like... it's Yeah, it's like DS1. And, uh... Mobs also seem to take an equal, equal amount of delight in killing me in this. Sounds painful. Really is kind of painful. But at the same time, it's painful rewarding. Because, like... Like, if you make the mobs that much more dangerous and your settlement still thrives, like, it, it becomes like this flourishing, like, like, mecca of, like, life... You kind, you kind of won. You kind of won against adversities. Collect bamboo with a sword. It's faster. Uh, don't, don't. Uh, okay, I have, I have a sword. You, you speed. You insta mine it. Yep. Uh, yep. You when you when you click with a sword, you insta mine. And I think it might just be any weapon because if I use my rusty mace, oh no, does not actually insta mine it. My bad. But yeah. Speaking of, I should probably get my hands on a slightly better weapon because. Heavy mace, a heavy mace is good, but um, M I M A C E. So I have a, I have several options. Imagine katanas and bamboo. I think katanas in the mod pack. Hold on, K A T A. Yes, okay. So katanas are rare. You need to get them in like a dungeon drop or something. Yeah, you you need to find them in a dungeon, in a desert temple or a jungle temple. So kind of rare, and you can sheath it for five seconds. And when you draw it next, it will do extra damage, because that's like the EI draw. Yeah, time time to Demon Slayer. But me personally, as my interim weapon, I might use a mace, because, you know, armor piercing is actually quite good. I get plus 5 damage against undead with a silver mace. But, oh, wait, I, I, I don't have silver. Oh, right, yeah, none, none, of, none of the mods add silver. You need a katana. I sort of do... I, I sort of really would like a katana. It would make me look very cool, very very kawaii desune. Very, uh, what's 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 the Japanese word for cool? It's a. Uh, it would make me look very sugoi. It, it would. <laughs> I'm done butchering the Japanese language, but I think for my main time, for my main uh, placeholder weapon, I'm going to be using some sort of mace. And honestly, since I can afford the bronze, wait, no. I cannot afford the bronze. Okay, in the meantime, I'll probably use a... I'm using a stone mace, but I could... Steel... Okay, steel might actually work, because I, I can make steel ingots by... Wait, hold on. Wrong steel. I could use them by using a blast furnace to blast uh, iron ingots. I could make steel. But either way, uh, all of that is going to have to wait for a later episode. Because well actually I could I could I could make the mace now. Honestly, yeah, give me give me one moment. I need to use the bathroom real quick.
Hey, I'm back. Sorry, everyone. Anyways, uh, Kristen loves Japan, or Christian loves Japan, and Ryder says, yeah, this this is fun to watch. Sorry, I, I left you guys hanging a little. So, I put this stuff back up here, and I believe Mace was good. Another another one I was looking at was the Al Spies, which is has pretty much the same armor piercing as the Mace, except it's got extra reach. It gives you two-handed and it gives you slightly more impact. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an iron all piece, which requires four iron and a pole. Or could I do sh could I do steel? I could actually do steel. And steel compared to iron is hold on 4.0, 3.0 max damage block, two-handed 0.5, 12. Okay, it's just it's just I'm gonna assume it's the iron all piece with slightly more durability. So in light of that, I'm just gonna use the iron one pole, which is two hilts which are two sticks and leather scraps, which come from two pieces of leather. Do I have two pieces of leather anywhere? I don't, but I know that there are cows nearby that I will kill tomorrow morning. Not not tonight. Not not this night. Not while there's shit out here that wants to kill me and my mace doesn't work. Okay, so where are the mobs? Uh... Oh, there we go. Cows up there. And I just need to kill a couple cows with this mace. I need to, you know, crush a couple of skulls with this mace. Very sinister, very sinister thing to do. Kill to kill something with a blunt weapon. I was falling asleep because it's 3:30 in my country and oh, hello. Oh, I will I will go to sleep because it's 3:30 in my country and your eyes are falling out. Yes, yes, please don't. Please, please never stay up. Uh, on on my regard, see you, see you, Christian. Please please never stay up on my regard because it's not 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 super healthy. Like don't 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 jeopardize your own health to catch a stream. Please, yeah. Anyways, kill that guy. That's uh one. Nope, not no second leather. Uh, where was the third guy? You here? Oh, sorry, sorry, friend, but you're. Your days of being alive are over. Okay, so six leather strips. That's okay. That's that's good. And the next up, I need... I believe any two sticks will do. Oh yeah, I, I should have enough to make two sticks back at base. So, I'm gonna carelessly run down the side of a mountain like a fucking maniac. You know, just... just it's just... Fav look, gravity is helping me, right? Gravity is gonna help me get down the mountain, so why why don't I just accept his offer? You know, it's it's makes sense. Also, why did I just posit that gravity was a he? Could be a woman. I wouldn't know. Okay, so combine those to make two hilts. Put those diagonal and make a pole. And then, if I combine four of these, hold on. Actually, it's it's a two-handed weapon, which means I can't use a shield in conjunction with it. So I'm going to have to take. Do I not have enough iron? Crap baskets, I don't have enough iron. Okay, what what do I have enough of? I have stone, gold, netherite, no. Copper, you know what? Fuck it, copper. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make a weapon out of copper. The second I step out into a thunderstorm, I'm going to get fucking lit up by lightning. <laughs> I don't know if that's how this works, but it would be funny if it was and I was just becoming a lightning magnet. Could also use tin. This is what they should be teaching in school. What, like like Minecraft? I'm uh I'm I'm not I'm not one thousand percent sure of that, but you know what? Fuck it, if there were Minecraft classes in my school, maybe I would have attended class more. Nah, no, just this mod. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess I guess a create class would be fun. But who'd teach it though? I mean, like, you could probably get a Minecraft YouTuber into a school, but here's the thing, right? There are so many Minecraft YouTubers who enjoy molesting kids, or who enjoy trying to groom kids to have sex with them. I, would you trust any Minecraft YouTuber near kids? Actually, you know what? Hold hold that thought. Stampy Longnose. I would trust, not just, not just kids in general, I would trust Stampy with my own fucking children. If... If Stampy walked up to me... And and used and and his and his like funny chipper British accent. He said, "Hey, uh, I need I need your child, and I need your child immediately. No hesitation whatsoever. I'd, I'd be like, S -s 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 Stampy. Okay, sure, take my kid. 
You know what? Fuck it. Have him for the week. I don't care. Like it, like it would, it would be instantly. Now there are some, there are some, some Minecraft YouTubers who are like confirmed outed pedophiles. Like a, uh, there are some people who have allegations, like Basherverse. I know that Sky does Minecraft now has uh, sexual assault allegations against him, as well as regular assault, domestic violence, uh, a couple, a couple of others. But, but, I just, bro, Dan TDM. I would let him have my. You know what? Same. Same, honestly. Dan TDM, ultra trustworthy. Most of the hermits, I would, I would trust most, most members of Hermitcraft with my child. I, I would not trust Grian with my child, not because I think Grian is a pedophile, but because I think my child would come back and be a fucking troll. I'd, I'd get my child back, and they, they, they do a little bit, do a little bit of trolling. Dan TDM is still going well, though. Yeah, Dan TDM. Uh. Even though, even though I don't think he does weird stuff with kids, I wouldn't trust my I wouldn't trust my child around Sunday, because I think I think Sunday is a little bit off the deep end, or he's I don't know Sunday, S Sunday seems like he's a uh, it it's it seems like it seems like the fucking Among Us craze hit him really hard and he went a little off the deep end. Do you have a Discord user? Uh, I actually am. I I do have Discord. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Actually, I could I could send you a link to the official Hollow Hearts Discord, but it's super inactive. Nobody's nobody's been in it for a while. Hey, first natural wheat wheat growth of the, of the of the thing, and honestly, I don't I don't use Discord all that much. I I, I check it like, and then I'll make it inactive. <laughs> You'll make it inactive. Or you'll, or you'll make it more active. I, I'm, I'm not sure what you meant by that. Anyways, it's gonna it's gonna come around. It's gonna break this. It's going to put this in the chest. I, you, okay, you meant active. And then it's going to go from eight pieces of wheat to nine pieces of wheat and a seed. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely having machines do your work for you? I say while while you know about to be replaced by a fucking f machine in a job. Sorry, by like a fucking mach like factory machine in my job. Yeah, that's that's. You know what? Sure. Let me let me drop the Hollow Hearts Discord. But here's the thing: there's there there really are a bunch of inactive users. So let me just quickly open Discord. I'm before I before I do that, I'm going to plant a couple more seeds and then move, move somewhere safe. Okay. Let me let me let me run inside my house. Actually, you know, it would be. I know the stream will still be running, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on top of this, on top of this farm, <laughs> and then you can you can watch me in F5 for a little bit while I while I just rotate around. Is is there no okay? There's there's really yeah you can you can have a fun background, so. The Hollow Hearts Discord. Dismiss. Uh, got it. Hey, Scotty's online. Anyways, let me just uh, where's the invite option? Invite people. Let's do. Invite. Edit invite link. Seven days maximum number of uses. Generate a new link. Copy. And paste. Around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. Yep. Okay. This is the link to the Hollow Hearts Discord. It uh, I, I, I'll, I'll warn you first. Not a lot of people. You can you can just drop in and say hi, but uh, you might you might not get any replies. It might be you might be left high and dry. Get it? Because like you know you you get it. Anyways, I'm gonna plant more of these wheat seeds because I want this farm to be fully running. One, two, three, and then I will probably actually, you know, like, I'll probably end the stream in a little bit once the farm's fully, fully stocked up, and then I'll go like creep off and buy breakfast. I also need to feed my cats. They're used to being fed kind of early, but we fed them kind of late at night yesterday, so they probably want food a little bit later in the day. Well, a little, they want food a little bit later than usual. So like, usually feed them at seven. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I could, I could. Actually, you know what? It took took like two hours. To, okay, yeah, I, I will. I'll end the end the stream in a little bit. Just 
business I have enough seeds to fill up the farm. Uh, feed, throw food at my cats because they 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 need someone to throw food at them. And then once I throw food at them, I will. Uh, I'll uh, I'll run out and get some human food for myself. I, I I won't be joining them in eating cat food. I I I doubt I don't doubt that it's good if you're a cat, but I I, I not my not really my style. Anyways, how much more to fill up this farm? Okay. Uh, honestly, it just seems like a little bit more. Put this here. Put this here. Yeah, for the. For this, he, yo, Among Us hit Sunday so fucking hard. It was like, it. I I remember like seeing like a Sunday video in my su in my suggestions, and I was like, huh, Sunday. I haven't heard that name since Team Crafted. What the fuck? I'm gonna I'm gonna check this guy out. And it was all fucking like crazy pr crazy thumbnail like Among Us videos. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, you you've become one of those YouTubers. He's still posting about Among Us. Holy shit, no way. If I if I open my phone and type in S Sunday, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read off the videos I see. S Sunday. Among Us, but you only get one block. New FPS chess game mode. Hold on, let me let me go to Sunday's profile. One day ago, Among Us, but you only get one block. Thanos auto clicker in Minecraft, insane craft. Surviving on 0 0.1 US, serving, surviving on $1 for 30 days in Among Us. Snipers versus crewmate in Among Us. Breaking 100 Among Us world records. Yeah, yeah, Among Us hit Sunday like a fucking truck. That is a. Uh... My man, my man has the Among Us disorder. It's a, uh, it's 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 terminal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, doctor. But I, why am why am I tell why am I giving my doctor his news? He hit rock bottom. Uh, yeah, I I, I kind of think he did. But yeah, Sunday 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 has gone Among Us-fied. He's he's become he's become kind of a. Kind of a sussy barker. Uh, it hurts me just to say those words. Calling another human being a sussy barker. I look, look. If, like, honestly, if my choice, if my choice is getting called a sussy barker in public or getting called a racial slur, at least take the racial slur because, like, yeah, fuck it. Call me a chink. You know, call me a fucking slant-eyed dog eater. Call me a fucking rice field rice field worker. I I don't care. Just don't call me a sussy barker, please. Only some what good thing is insane craft, but that's still trash. Yeah, I miss I miss crazy craft. I miss the fucking ore spawn mod, the fucking like kraken boss battle and the king and Godzilla, or like sorry mobzilla copyright. I miss I miss I miss original crazy craft back when crazy craft was one point six point four. That crazy craft was the shit. I, I, I'd say that crazy craft was like my first mod pack that like I like I fell in love with. Sunday does the Jenny mod. Wait, is, which one's the Jenny mod? Hold on. Is is that like a horror movie where there's like a character named Jenny like comes out like hold on, Minecraft Jenny mod. This is a pawn game. This is absolutely a fucking pawn game. What the fuck? I show speed plays the Jenny mod. You can you can pay her you can pay her emeralds for a blowjob. There's a there's I I I <sighs> I don't know if I should feel surprised. I don't know if I should feel disgust. I don't really know what to feel. Like a it's it's kind of like that one song by Starset. Like, can you, can you tell me how to feel? Cause I've lost my way again. Can you tell me how to? Wait, oh, hold on. That's not the that's not the Starset song. What is the Starset song? Um, tell me what is real. 
The title would be Playing Sussy Jenny Mod. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I'd rather not think about the Jenny mod, but like, I, you know how like, people, like people in a movie, when they're having a breakdown, they hear like Linkin Park playing in their head. It's like, I tried so hard and got so far. In my head, it's uh, Down with the Fallen by Starset. And what I'm hearing is, can you tell me what is real? Cause I've lost my way again. Can you tell me how to feel? Cause I don't feel anything now that I'm down here again. I'm down with the fallen again. And like, yeah, just like down with the fallen playing in my head while I have this Vietnam flashback to the fucking better days of the better days. Bro, Megalovania starts playing for me. Is Megalovania your panic song in your head? Where like, where like you see some suspect shit, right? Like it's like it's fucking Minecraft twerk compilation, and then your your brain just sees that it goes into defense mode or it goes into panic mode, and it's just like da 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 da. da. <laughs> that's that's. You know what? Everyone everyone should have their own panic song, or well, everyone should have their own like my brain is on the verge of collapse song. For me. Definitely down with the fallen, uh, which is also one of my favorite Star Set songs. I, I know they're sort of like underrated, like they're sort of an underrated music group. But uh, down with the fallen is like like like, like my favorite Star Set song. It's like it's like my favorite favorite. And there are little, there are other good songs like Earthrise and uh, and um, Starlight, I believe. But yeah, it's 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 my favorite song. Anyways, uh. I could build another one of these, or alternatively, I could actually make myself a little bit more, a little bit more wood. And the way I would do that is first I'd take this hand crank, and next I would make uh, something called a mechanical saw. You want to know something random I would think of when I would be in school? Sure. Sorry, hold on. Let me look up saw. So this requires a andesite casing. Tell me, tell me, tell me about it. And while well, you're at it, tell me what is real, because I've lost my way again. Can you tell me how to feel, now that I don't feel anything, now that I'm down here again, I'm down with the fallen again? Okay, so that's one of those. I need three iron sheets, and I don't have enough iron to make a saw. This is, a. Uh... this feels like as good a time as any to end the video. And let me just, let me just, let me just do a quick wheat check. So we have 14 pieces of wheat. And this farm is going to be running in the background. I would think of my character's law and I would and what I would be like in an SMP story. Huh. That's that's not all that random. Or well, it's not I I could I could see I could see I could see yourself like imagining that. I could see You know what? I could see myself imagining that. Holy shit. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, uh mobs can break down specific mobs can break blocks, specific enemy mobs. Rather, like Vikings can break blocks, and I think all you need is the Mine Colonies mod for them to potentially spawn near you. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and I'm probably going to end the stream here. So next time next time I cop on, I am probably going to make a kelp farm. You need to build an obsidian house. Yeah, I do. I do need to build like a bunker, and using using these, I'm going to first. I should probably make a bamboo farm. Because bamboo farm is going to be basic, it's basically going to feed into the kelp farm. It's going to burn bamboo, and the kelp is going to become, I guess, dried kelp. And we'll have a kelp farm running as well. So yeah, I will hop into here. This will be my little safety safety composter, and I will see you later. Catch you later, Riderson. Hopefully, hopefully we'll meet again in the future when i have when i have a little bit more stuff yeah have a good night it, it's a good morning for me it's 8 45 anyways catch you take care take care of yourself and catch you later goodbye